in this live stream, we are going over the winners of the 50,000 subscriber special giveaway. We are also doing some channel reviews. And, you know, of course, as usual, the subscriber Q&A session where I can answer your YouTube questions. And we're starting right now. This is how it is. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another live stream. If this is your first time on my channel and you're watching this on the replay and you want to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, go ahead and start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Click. All right, guys. So today we are doing another Saturday. I'm coming on a little bit late. I actually... Um, flew up from Phuket today, so I am coming up in just a little bit later than normal, and I'm actually curious to see what happens, because this isn't the time that, uh, you know, that, that everything normally goes down, so I'm excited to see, uh, you know, excited to see what happens, excited to see what we can, uh, you know, what, what, how many people we can get in here to see what's going on. So, if you are just coming into the live stream right now, Make sure that you share this on Twitter. If you want to see your Twitter name and all of that pop up right down here, then share this out on Twitter right now, um, and you will start seeing those pop up on the screen as you do that. So, we got a bunch of entries for the 50,000 subscriber giveaway, which is pretty awesome, and we're going to get into the winners of that here um, in a little bit. Uh, right now... I'm going to jump into the into the chat and just say what's going on. Say say hey, you know, give give some shout outs here. Justin Bennett in the house. I've got some good news for you later, my friend. Sally Safdari, nice to see you in here. Scare ED, Scare E. I just noticed you, my friend. Nice to see you in here. Stroke TV, good morning to you as well, bro. Mental Gamer, what is going on? Garage Movie Reviews. Nice to have you in here. So yeah, it, it's uh, I'm, I'm coming in late today if you're just hopping in the stream. I'm, I'm kind of repeating this a little bit, letting a few more people get in here. Um, Greg, Free American Spirit in the house. What is going on, my friend? Yeah, a lot of people are pouring in here right now. We're up to 129 people. Costume cinematographer, what is going on? Beanie Draws, what is happening? My friend. Yeah, so uh, Doug Helson TV, you did not miss anything, man. We are just getting started. Thanks for uh, Thanks for hopping in. Yeah, so if you are on Twitter, which, you know, pretty much everybody's on Twitter. Let's just, you know, call it what it is. Everybody's on Twitter. Make sure that you're sharing this out uh, on Twitter so that we can get everybody in here just in case there's anybody. Because I know a lot of us are interconnected, you know, through our YouTubes and, and through our, our Twitters and all that stuff. Our YouTubes. That's funny. Made me sound like I don't know, like, hey, Nick, what's the lingo? You know that, that YouTubes? <laughs> you know that YouTubes that them kids do? Them YouTubes? So anyway... But yeah, you know how we're all like interconnected with all that stuff. So, you know, maybe you have a friend that watches the channel and that, you know, that they were a part of the 50,000 subscriber giveaway. You know, they made a submission and, you know, they probably want to be in the stream when those winning prizes are going out. Thank you for the shirt compliment, Bill Al. I appreciate it. Mr. DeVizes, what is going on? Eric Boss, what is going on? I'm just going to go ahead and... Get you out of here, my friend. Notice me, Nick. What is going on, Lex? How is it going, Tech Marathon? What is going on with you? So, looks like we're getting hammered here. I'm going to have to start making a couple of you guys moderators because it uh, looks like we're getting hammered here with, uh, with, some, with some haters. Lovely Kid in Japan, what is going on? Nice to see you in here as well. So, hey, let's go into... Evelyn, it's okay. Evelyn Roman, no worries um, with that. If you have to go to work soon, I know that normally I come on a little bit earlier, you know, but right now um, I actually had to fly up today um, to come back home and I just got in and just got settled, went out and got some dinner. And uh, that's why I'm running a little bit late, later than normal. I put it out on Twitter that I was going to be going on around now. Um, so, uh, you know, just, just because sometimes like if I'm, if I'm late, Jen from Jen, the piano girl, and from Jen Adventures TV, what is going on? You'll be a hall monitor. I'm actually going to make you a hall monitor right now. Thank you, Jen. 
yeah, my rules for anybody that ends up being a moderator, my rules for that is basically as long as social media tech TV, what is going on? Nice to see you. As long as um, flash in your pan, what is up? Nice to see you as well. Yeah, I, I actually, um, let's see, I'm glad I had a short morning. Yeah, normally, you know, I start a little bit earlier. Um, but I, you know, I just got in here. I'm rolling in a little bit late today. So my apologies to the early crowd. So hopefully, you know, because of that, you know, maybe some people will get a chance to come in here that normally don't get a chance to come in the stream. But yeah, Jen, basically uh, what I do with the moderation is, is, you know, people can do pretty much whatever they want. I'm just kind of looking for profanity. I'm looking for, you know, people, you know, spamming stuff or just kind of, you know, filling out the comments or whatever. I'm not too strict on it, um, you know, because I know people like to play around and whatnot. So Jimmy Chonga, what is going on? So, uh, uh, so, you know, you don't have to have like a, you know, lead hammer, you know, knocking people out or whatever. Just if you notice something that is, you know, that's like, hey, that person is is going kind of crazy with emojis as, ex as an example, with the exception of Blaze Plays there, because, uh, you know, they probably didn't know before I just said that. Fun Vlogger, what is going on? I've got some good news for you later. You might want to uh, stick around. Yuli Armstrong, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. All right, we got the familiar faces in here. I'm excited about that. We're up to 143 people, which is fantastic. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to go through a quick Q&A. Um, basically, the structure of this today is we are going to go through a quick Q&A, um, basically, you know, answering some, uh, you know, some YouTube questions, you know, just questions, you know, if you have things that you're curious about, your YouTube channel, things that are going on, then we're going to get through those. And then once those are finished, then we are going to go into the winners for the subscriber giveaway. And then Affiliate Marketing MC, what is going on, my friend? Marcus, what's happening? So, so yeah, so once we get those, um, those questions and answers out of the way, then we're going to go into the 50,000 subscriber giveaway winners, which is going to be fun. Everybody's a winner. We'll just go ahead and say that, you know, because, you know, you can get a discount if you don't actually win through TubeBuddy or through TuberTools. You get a discount via coupon codes and all that stuff. But there's actual winners. They don't have to, you know, don't have to pay anything. Um, and then after that, then we are going to go into the typical reviews, you know, where I'm checking out your channels, pulling up on the screen and, you know, things like that. And, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. So first off, I'm going to jump into the chat and I'm going to look for some questions. Okay. So the first question is Sally Safdari. How do you make thumbnails? Um, you make thumbnails, you can do it um, inside of a phone app called Pixel Labs. You can make thumbnails inside of Photoshop, um, inside of GIMP, in, on Canva.com. Um, there are, let's see here, PickMonkey.com as well. There are tons of places that you can make thumbnails. But here's what you want to keep in mind. A lot of times... When people make thumbnails, they try to clutter them up with all this information. I want to show people everything that, you know, that's in this video. If you talk about a bunch of different subjects, I want to show people everything that's in this video. It's not necessary. Try to keep your thumbnails as simple as you possibly can. Try to use as limited text as you possibly can. Make any text that you use nice, big, and bold. And try to put a face or faces in your thumbnails if you can as well. Um, if you're doing reviews or something like that, then for the actual recognition of whatever it is that you are reviewing, then you might want to throw that in your thumbnail. And in addition to that, it's really important, and I don't talk about this much. This is stuff that I normally you know, go over with, with clients. But um, you also want to make sure that in your thumbnails that you're using imagery that is specific to the type of content that you make. Like as an example... If you make videos that are about ice skating, right, it's really important that in that case that you show a lot of ice skating type imagery in your thumbnails so that people that are into that, in addition to any text or anything like that that you put on your thumbnails, so that people that are into that, they can say, oh, okay, well, that's something that speaks to me because, you know, I'm into that because I'm looking for ice skating stuff. I'm into ice skating stuff. So when YouTube suggests your content to those people, then they're more likely to click on it because it's something that they recognize, something that they're familiar with, and something that they're already into. Now, if you have a personality channel, in that case, you know, to where you're, to where you're focused in a niche, but it's more personality-based than it is the actual topic, um, or, you know, you build it around your personality, but you share a topic, then in that case, you know, you might want to focus most of your imagery and the recognition on you if you're trying to actually, you know, brand yourself and, and build your, you know, your personality brand instead. Angie Atkinson, what is going on? 
Nice to see you in here. Yeah, Angie says that thumbnails made a huge difference for her, and I, I completely agree. Like, here's the thing. When you're looking around YouTube, right? Like, if you go to Morning Fame, here's another one, too. Like, if you're looking around, if you're looking around YouTube and you just, just monitor your own brain when you're looking around YouTube and the stuff that you're clicking on, right? And in most cases, you know, because some people are looking for titles, other people are looking for thumbnails, but there's a reason that the thumbnail is the, the biggest thing that, that, they, um, that they offer that they don't make the titles really big and the, and the thumbnails smaller, right? But when you're looking around YouTube, just try to monitor your own brain on, you know, hey, you know, I clicked on this thumbnail. Why did I click on this thumbnail? What is it about this particular thumbnail that made me want to click on it? But you want to make your text as, as nice and clear and easy to read as you possibly can instead of trying to just clutter in a bunch of stuff. And the more... Um, I, don't, I don't know if pro is the right word that I'm looking for, but the more... Um, better designed that your thumbnail is, then you know the the better chance that you're going to get from that because you you look legit as well. And keep in mind, you don't always have to use text. You know, I do that personally, and I recommend that to people because I'm a visual browser, and I mentioned I've mentioned that in a lot of other streams as well. I'm a visual browser, and what that means is when I'm on YouTube and I'm going through my phone, which is a majority of YouTube traffic, mobile traffic, and I'm going through my phone or I'm on my tablet and I'm I'm scrolling through the feed on YouTube. You know, I'm looking at all of those all of those thumbnails. I'm not reading titles. I'm looking at thumbnails. So that's why I personally put thumbnails on my te or uh, text on my thumbnails, and that's why I recommend to other people that you put text on your thumbnails as well for other people that that surf on YouTube, similar to the way that I surf on YouTube. But again, that also shows why it's important to craft your titles well as well, because you know some people are looking at the titles, some people are looking at the thumbnails. And you want to make sure that you're nailing both of them as a home run instead of just one, right? And another thing with your thumbnail too, because um, I started to mention Morning Fame a second or a minute ago. And inside of Morning Fame, uh, that's morningfame.com, I believe. Um, they, well, I'll actually check that to confirm real quick. Yeah, inside of, nope, that's not it actually. Hold on, do not go to that one. Well, I mean, you can, but there's like nothing important there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, morningfame.me. So at morningfame.me, basically what you can do is um, they they show you like the velocity on your videos and things like that. They also show you thumbnail comparisons. So basically for a specific keyword phrase that you rank for, then what they'll do is they'll show a grid of six thumbnails and they'll say, how does your thumbnail compare to these six or these other five thumbnails, right? So it gives you that visual representation so you can look at it and say, oh, I would never click on this. Or, you know, hey, these videos that are ranking right next to mine, mine just gets lost because all of these grab so much attention, right? So definitely, definitely spend a lot of time getting your thumbnail game together. Super important. Vivi, what is going on? Nice to see you. Remix Records in the house. What is going on? Okay. Are giveaways good to grow? Um, I... Like the giveaway that I just did, I did that as kind of like a way to give back, right? As, as a way to, as a thank you. Um, I definitely would not use giveaways to grow personally. With that said, there's the fidget spinner live stream guys and the Amazon gift card people and all of that stuff that, that do these, that do these, you know, long, uh, you know, like forever 24 hour live streams and things like that. And they use that as a way to grow and they do. But what they're doing is they're actually growing that number, you know, so they might get a plate button or something, but they're growing that number, but they're not actually creating a community of any kind. So if that's what you want to do, then yeah, you know, technically if you're doing a 24 hour live stream or something like that, then, you know, you can try to use that. But if you're actually trying to grow something that's like a long term, um, you know, asset for you, then that's definitely not the way to grow your channel. Uh, let's see here. What inspired me to do YouTube? Initially, um, I came into YouTube as a um, as a marketer. Essentially, um, I just came in and I was going to share the information that um, that I had from doing freelance work. And during that, um, I you know I set up an email capture and you know things like that, so that um, you know as the channel grew, that I could get emails and that sort of thing. But I ended up abandoning this channel, going to another channel for a while. And then, um, and then I came back to this channel with a whole new angle and a whole new game plan and then just started, you know, hammering away on this channel. And as of today, um, you know, that, that work, I mean, as you can see, you know, just from watching the channel, you know, anyway, from the outside, you know, 
all of that is working. Uh, that you know that strategy that I came in with is is working. Grandpa's place. Good morning to you as well. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. I appreciate it. Um, but as of today, I'm I'm uh, I'm just a tad over twelve thousand subscribers um, for the last thirty days, which is pretty exciting um, for me. Let's see here. Could you turn up your volume a bit, my friend? It's a bit quiet. You know what? I actually have it cranked there. Let me see here. How do you edit videos on a Samsung? You can use, let's see here. I'm, okay, I'm going to turn it up here just a little bit there. And let me know if that is a little bit better for you because I'm trying to keep it from going too hot. So let me know if that is better or if it's, or if it's too much. So I just turned it up here. And real quick, I want to give a shout out, a really special shout out to my friend Sophie. Sophie is nine years old, and I know she's been watching my channel. And, you know, because of that, I just wanted to give a shout out to Sophie and say, hello, Sophie. Thank you for watching the channel. I appreciate it. Glad to have you uh glad to have you watching the videos. So I just want to give that real quick shout out to to Sophie. I hope she's watching right now. So Sophie, if you are watching, you know, I just wanted to uh to say hello. And I think that you are the youngest person that watches the channel, and I thank you for that. Uh let's see here. On the the next one, let's see here. Um Pagrit says that they have been playing with morning frame um as it is pretty neat. It absolutely is pretty neat. Um, there with morning fame, it is a, right now it's kind of in beta. So they are, you know, trying to, um, to, uh, basically they're working out all of the stuff on the back end right now. Um, just kind of fine tuning everything, trying to make it as good as they possibly can. And then they're going to do a big, um, release of it. But, um, I know Brian G, if you go to his channel, he has a, um, uh, uh, an invite code for it. I have one in my email as well. Um, but yeah, morning fame is really cool. A lot of really cool um, inside in there. Cutting the caboose. Danielle, what is going on? Nice to see you. Now we're getting to the real questions. Would you rather fight one duck the size of a horse or 50 horses the size of ducks? Man, that's tough. Would I rather fight one duck? Well, let's see here. If I was fighting a duck, they're probably, you know, they're coming at me from the front and they're hitting me with their, their beaks and all of that. And, and like one duck, one one beak hit, I'm knocked out. So I think with that, I think I might go with 50 horses the size of ducks because you know because all they're gonna do is you know kick at my ankles. You know they can't really stampede me because they're you know they're duck size. It would actually be cute. And as a matter of fact, I'd probably try to you know capture one maybe and try to breed them because who would not want a little horse the size of a duck? That would be awesome. I mean it's kind of like a dog, <laughs> really. So I guess I guess it, I guess you know it wouldn't be too unique. But, you know, it'd be kind of, you know, kind of, kind of like a dog. I think that would be fun. Nerdy Explorer in the house. Vigard, what is going on? Chiba Gaming in the house as well. Bodies after babies, what is going on? You might want to stick around um, here because I've got some good news for you later. As a side note, uh, Yulia Armstrong says she likes how seriously um, I answer the questions. Thank you. I appreciate it. But, hey, that's a serious question. I mean, you know, there's a you never know. Right. You never know when all of a sudden, you know, through evolution and all that stuff, they're going to start popping out little horse ducks. Right. So you have to you have to answer those questions serious because one day, you know, you never know what you're going to run across. OK, any tips for beginners? Yes, Lex. Um, it's Lex. Tips for beginners. Um, be patient. Super important. Make everything as good as you possibly can because visual authority is super important, and I cannot stress that enough. Visual authority will open tons of doors for you um, that not having visual authority will keep closed. So, yeah, definitely keep that in mind. Um, learn how to make your videos discoverable. Learn how to rank your videos in search. Learn how to share your videos and integrate yourself with the community. Those are my those are my big tips right now. Actually, on my on my channel page, I have a uh, a full playlist of YouTube tips for beginners. So if you just go below this stream right now and you click on my name, um, then you'll you'll see that playlist there. So bookmark it or add it to your watch later list, um, or just watch it right now 
And because I'll be streaming here for a while because I'm, you know, kind of addicted to this stuff. You know, I get kind of weird and itchy and scratchy if I don't stream. So, um, so I'll be here for a while. So if you want to go watch some of those videos and come back, ask any questions that you have about them, that is cool. Gamernomics, what is going on? Nice to see you in the house. Let's see here. What do we got? Where are the good places to promote my channel? Um, YouTube is a good one, but not in a sub for Subway. Um, in a, you know, hey, I'm going to leave a comment and actually be a part of the community type of thing. Um, Twitter is good. Google Plus, even though people say Google Plus is dead, it's not. Google Plus, as long as you're um, posting in relevant groups, can drive traffic. Of course, more traffic than others, depending on the niche that you're in. Um, Reddit is good, of course, depending on the niche that you're in. Facebook groups is good, depending on the niche that you're in. Um, and of course, you know, any other relevant uh, web forums or other online communities that are relevant to your content. Um, what camera would I recommend you? Mario 31. I'm not sure what your budget is, but um, personally, the I really like the, the Canon line of cameras. I, I highly recommend the Canon line of cameras, but... Um, as far as the DSLRs are concerned, that's what I use. And as far as the DSLRs are concerned, um, right now they're not shooting in 4K. So if you want to kind of future-proof yourself, then maybe, you know, if you want to buy a camera now and not buy a camera for another few years, then maybe you want to get something that's 4K, like one of the Lumix cameras or, you know, one of the Sony cameras or something. Um, but if you're cool with shooting in 1080p, then, uh, then I personally would recommend um, one of the Canon cameras. I just, I, I'm just a, a, a fan. I'm, I'm a fan of, the, of Canon cameras. I've, I've, in addition to my DSLR, I have a um, uh, Canon XF100 as well, which is a dedicated video camera. I love that thing and, and how good the, the optics are on it, how good the camera quality is. But what I don't like about it is because it is a video camera, not a photo camera, so I can't like change lenses on it or anything like that which sucks because it kind of limits me creatively in how I can make things look. Like as an example with my DSLR, the reason I got that is because the uh, Canon XL or the Canon XF100, it did not give like the soft background, that little bit of a blur that kind of helps you pop out a little bit. It wouldn't it, it wouldn't do that. Even if I sat it across the room and zoomed it in, which normally is a trick that works, um, even if I did that, it still didn't give the same effect that I was looking for. So I had to go out and um, and pick up one of the DSLRs. But in addition to that, use whatever you have to get started, right? So, you know, make your plan and then just like start doing it. You know what I mean? So it's more important to, 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 to get moving than it is to wait around and, and try to figure out um, what camera to get. So if you have a phone, start there because it is going to take some time to to get going anyway. Um, how do you get a URL for your channel? Um, checkmate after you get a um, hundred subscribers on your channel, um, then inside of your admin panel, then you will get the option. Um, you'll see on your if you go into your creator studio and then you go down to your channel um, navigation over on the left. Um, underneath that, you'll see all the different things that you are eligible for on that page. And one of them is going to be your um, channel URL. So basically, your channel has to be 30 days old, um, at least 30 days old, and you have to have at least 100 um, subscribers in order to to get it. Creeper MCG, that is awesome that you've been here since 10,000 subscribers. Thank you. How do you make money on YouTube? That is a very good question and a very big question. Your driver, Mike, what is going on? Nice to see you. There's a bunch of different ways that you can make money on YouTube. It all depends on the content that you're making. Um, I was actually, when I was in Phuket, at the thing that I was doing down there, I met up with another YouTuber. Um, he, he generates about $12,000 a month in passive income off of his YouTube channel. Um, with that said, he's got like 249 or 239,000 subscribers, but he, he generates that passively. So he just keeps making videos because that's what he likes to do. Um, and, and he explores other things, which is why he was um, at the event that I was at. And um, really, he just basically uploads videos because he likes doing that and he likes sharing the information that he does. But he passively makes $12,000 um, on his channel just on how he has everything set up. Which is, which is cool. But basically, you can make money through um, affiliate marketing. You can make money through selling your own products. You can make money um, through ads, which don't depend on that. You can make money through offering services of any kind. You know, if you, like, if you do graphics and you do tutorials, then you can start offering 
um, you know, great your graphic services. Build up, you know, throw together a a website and start driving traffic to that website. Start letting people know that you're offering those services. Same thing if you if you make video uh, YouTube videos, there's a good chance that you know how to edit videos. You can offer that service because there's always people looking for video editing. Um, uh, anything that you're good at, any service or any knowledge skill set that you have, um, you can offer that as a service. And the most important part of that is actually making it known that you are um, that you are offering that as a service. So, like a service online, like making money online in general, service is the fastest way to actually get started um, doing that. And then you build up everything else around that while you're, you know, while you're providing the service. But that's how I got started online. But um, the, all of the other stuff, like the passive things that you can do and all of that, um, that's not the fastest way to get going. You know what I mean? Like that's the, that's the, there's a lot of work to that, but it it keeps paying to where service related things, they're kind of like a like they're coming in as you're providing the service. You know what I mean? So the other things that you can set up, those are you know while you're sleeping, that money's coming in. While you're out, you know doing other stuff, that money's coming in. Um, but for the service stuff, you're you're kind of chained to that um, to that service. Let's see here the winner's announcement. You did not miss that all music videos that is coming up very soon. DB Super asks, how did you grow your channel? I grew my channel by providing helpful content that adds value to my target market. That's it. And I, I just keep making videos day in, day out that provide value to my target market, which is everybody in here right now, <laughs> right? Other, other video creators, other, uh, you know, other content creators online, you know, I, I make videos helping people understand something that has a humongous learning curve and I give freely you know what I mean like I, I don't like the information that I share in my live streams or in my videos I mean is like I, I, I try not to put filters on it you know some stuff it doesn't come out in those videos just because it's like you know it like it doesn't really make sense to go into you know like a certain depth or whatever with the video so some things are I, I wouldn't say reserved but some things just don't come out um, until, you know, like client work and, you know, stuff like that. Professor Nez, what is going on? Nice to see you, my man. Nice to see you in the house. Guys, okay. Professor Nez, who is in the chat. Um, Professor, man, uh, if you can drop just another comment in here just so people can click on your name. So Professor Nez, um, he did an interview recently. And I mentioned this in my last live stream, too. Um, he did an interview recently with Roberto Blake. Awesome interview. Loved it. I think it was like two or three hours long. If you have a set of headphones, then you can you can throw this, you know, you can throw this interview on while you're, you know, driving or doing something else. S tons of value in that um in that interview that he did. So definitely head over to his channel and check out um that interview um that he did with Roberto Blake. Awesome stuff. Um, Cubicle Gang asks, when are we going to upload on the second channel? Um, right now, you know what, I'm gonna give you a little peek here. I'm going to show you what's going on. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but I mentioned before that we were building a set, right, for that second channel, and it's getting close. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to show you here in the live stream so that you can kind of see what is uh, what is going on there. Let's see here. Let me pull up the photos. And let's see here. Let me go all the way to the bottom. Okay, so this right here. Don't know if you if you can see this or not. You know what? I don't think you can. Hold on. No, you can't. Never mind. Maybe I'll. I, you know what? I'll throw this on Twitter. Um, actually. So if you're not following me on Twitter, I'm gonna put this up on Twitter right now. If you're not following me on Twitter, um, head over to twitter.com/slash Nick Nimmin. And I'm going to throw this up on Twitter right now so that you can uh, check it out. But basically what it is is a, a picture of the wall that we are having built for our studio. Pretty big, um, actually. Like it, it's, I'm just going to call it the wall, and it's going up literally right now. Send... 
Yeah, so um, so basically this wall, right? Uh, huge. But it's like we're having that made so that we can do, um, you know, like a, uh, you know, multi-camera, you know, uh, interview and live streaming thing, and which is gonna, just going to be awesome. Um, and then the actual video content, as soon as we have that, as soon as we have all of the elements in place, which should be just a couple more weeks, um, as soon as we have all of the elements in place, um, then we're going to launch the channel. So we've already recorded, you know, videos for it and all that stuff, but we're just waiting until everything is, you know, like officially ready, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna launch it. Okay, let's see here, Nick. I've been telling my son he needs to watch your videos. He started a gaming channel. Absolutely, he does. I totally agree. Uh, let's see here. What was was that a Logitech C920 camera we just saw in the reflection? Absolutely, it's a Logitech C922. That's what I use for my. Um, live streams. I love this thing. Now, the funny thing is because my internet connection sucks, so this will shoot in uh, 60 frames per second, and I want to do that, but because my internet is, um, I think, subpar might be a good way to say it. Because my internet is subpar, um, I, do not, uh, I do not do it in 60 frames uh, per second, but I would like to, and I also stream it out in 1280 by 720 instead of 1920 by 1080. Um, which is also a negative, but you know, whatever it gets it done. How to make videos fast fails to flips asks how to make videos fast. Now this is a huge thing because if we want to grow our channels, right? It's important that we consistently put content up on our channels, right? And the faster that you can get through content, the more content you can put up, the more consistently you can put up content on your channel. So a really good way to do that is to actually batch your videos. So what you do is you basically sit down in one go and you say, okay, these are all the topics that I want to talk about. And then you sit down in another go and you and you say, okay, I'm going to research this one, make sure that people are looking for this, make sure people are looking for this, 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 this. And then you develop your actual keyword phrases that you're going for after those. And then uh, depending on the type of content you make, of course, then from there you would say, okay, well, I'm either going to write my scripts or I'm going to get my bullet points together for these or you know whatever, get all the things that I need for it. And then on record day, then you actually sit down and you crank out, you know, five videos, six videos, even two videos, you know, instead of just making one video, you just crank out more um, content per session instead of, um, instead of just doing one. And then next week when the time to release a video comes around, it's like, oh my God, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta make another video. I gotta make another, what am I gonna do? Darren from Explore List in the house. What is going on? Hey man, I saw, um, I missed it. I missed your stream. I clicked on it, um, but you were already gone. I saw your uh, preg walkthrough. That looked uh, that looked pretty cool when you were walking in the park. HRH Tiffany, what is going on? Nice to see you. LYD, nice to see you in the house as well. Social Media Tech TV says, Nick, what are your thoughts on pay ads with Google AdWords for your YouTube channel? That is an excellent question. Um, my thoughts for that are this. For actually growing the channel, ads can be beneficial but here's the thing like you don't want to look at the views and all that stuff that you're getting from ads what you want to look at is the the actual conversion of converting people into subscribers and hoping right you're spending all this money and hoping that the next videos that you put out after you do an ad spend on your account that the next videos that that um that you put out that people are going to start um, yeah, like when, when YouTube promotes your video out, when you, when you launch it, that people are going to start clicking on your thumbnails and then they're going to start coming in and, and add what to the watch time of your channel. That's, that's where the benefit of that comes in. But really in most cases, unless you're doing something, uh, phenomenal with your, with your ad or with your channel, um, the ads are, um, less effective than just doing um, organic growth unless you're just blowing a ton of cash um, on them. Like as an example, there's an internet marketer. He grew his channel to like 40,000 subscribers um, using paid ads, but he spent, I, I think it was like a hundred or a couple of hundred thousand dollars in ads to get 40,000 subscribers. And you can see on his stats, it ramps up, right? And then it's just a straight drop down. As soon as he, as soon as he stopped running those ads, just a straight, uh, just a straight nosedive. Let's see here. Is it okay to spam upload videos in just a day? No, it is not. Um, the thing is, is you don't want to overwhelm 
people. And in addition to that, um, like you can definitely upload more than once per day. Um, but just keep in mind that you want to make sure, like in your case, you're doing all music videos. So that would, you know, that would apply if you're doing, you know, three or four uploads a day. And basically with that, you would probably lose some of your current people because it would be too much. Um, but on the flip side of that, people that are really into music and really into the type of content that you make, um, they would probably be cool with that and they would probably, um, stick around. And because you are uploading more, um, you would be creating more doorways in your channel and things like that. Um, but if you're just going to do like, Hey, I'm going to upload 10 videos today and then I'm not going to upload for a week. No. But if you're going to do like four videos or three videos or two videos per day in that case, then, then yeah, I would go ahead and do that. But you got to, you know, the whole thing is about consistency. So you don't want to like just bulk dump a bunch of content and then get out of there. You want to, you want to keep it all consistent, keep it all, um, keep it all rolling. Okay. Let's see here. Congratulations, congratulations, Lash Clash. Lash Clash says, hi, Nick. I'm about to hit 1,200,000 subscribers. Why do my videos blow up in a few days after getting um, only 200 views? Why do they blow up in terms of they do really well or in terms of they tank afterwards? Because if they, if they blow up after getting those 200 views, that means that People are watching those videos for a decent period of time. You're getting a really good view through rate or something like that. And because of that, then YouTube is going to start pushing them out more. Um, if you mean why do they blow up in terms of fail after you get 200 views, it's the opposite. It's because people are landing on your videos. They're not watching them for a longer period of time. They're not completing the video that much. And because of that, um, YouTube is definitely not going to keep promoting that video if it doesn't perform well. Because Because the whole thing with YouTube is to keep viewers watching right they specifically say we reward viewers or videos we reward videos that keep viewers watching uh let's see here i don't think that nick will ever notice me just did lord saxon um let's see here so could any of you loyal subs check my youtube channel and give some advice dingus bring us hey nick how do i get entered into the channel reviews um right now i'm not doing them yet i'm doing them a little bit later but, um, of course, Super Chats always take precedence just because I would be a jerk if they didn't. Um, and then outside of that, if you tweet me, if you just go to your Twitter account and you do um, whatever it is, but you can just put at Nick Nimmin if you want or, hey, check out Nick Nimmin or, you know, whatever. Just make sure that you at me and make sure that you put a link to your channel um, as well so that I can see it. Basically, what would be, what would be cool is... And you don't have to do it this way because I just need to see the one um, so that I can cl quickly click on your channel. But what would be cool is if you did one of those to me, right, to where it's like, adding Nimmin, you know, hey, check out this channel. And then you put a link to my channel. That would be super appreciated but not required. Um, and then do another one with a link to your channel so that I can see, you know, like when I'm going through them, when we get to that portion of the, of the stream, so that when I'm going through them, um, I can I can just easily see it and click on it without having to go and click on your account and try to figure out what your YouTube channel is. Because the easier it is for me to review it, then the 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 better your chance of of getting that review done. Elise Lee, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. Professor Nez, no sweat. Glad you're enjoying it. Savage Scientist, what is going on? He says that he sent Nick an email and he did reply. Absolutely, I do reply. How do I do an overlay? I'm 11. Um, it depends on the actual overlay that you want to do. I don't know if you're talking about a video overlay or a live stream overlay, or I'm not sure specifically what it is that you're talking about, but a video overlay, you would just do that um, inside of your, um, inside of your um, uh, video editing software. If you're doing a live stream, um, then you just do it inside of OBS. Usually you want to do a .png graphic so that you can actually see through it, and then you use that and you build that um, on a frame size that matches your video or your live stream size. I am Paul. I am a Paul, a friend of Paul Democritu. Review my channel, please. Since you mentioned Paul, I'm going to go ahead and give Paul a shout out. Paul has a book, Success IAO, which basically helps you improvise, adapt, and overcome anything. I designed this cover, and Paul's a friend of mine, so that's why I wanted to uh, make sure to show that, by the way. Okay, let's see here. Channel Tech, what is going on? Bodies After Babies says, Yuli Armstrong, thank you so much. Astro Focus, what is going on? Is the audio okay? Because I got I got a, a mention earlier. 
uh, costume cinematographer said that my um, that my volume was a little low. Is it is it better now? I just want to confirm that. Um, okay. Remix Records asks an uh, interesting question. Um, he says, Nick, I've got a question. Could you please tell me what's the hardest thing to do on YouTube? The hardest thing to do on YouTube is to be patient. That's it. That that's the hardest thing. There, there's that's followed by consistently uploading content. So being patient means that when you start uploading videos and if your channel's not, you know, taken off, not going through the roof or whatever, instead of saying like, oh God, this is horrible, I'm out of here, you know, it's it's staying consistent with your content, staying consistent, trying to improve, trying to make sure that you keep um, uploading your content, that you keep trying to improve how your channel looks, how your videos look, how you are presenting in your videos, how you're sharing information, whatever that information may be in your videos, that you are digging into your stats and you're looking at your audience retention and trying to figure out, hey, you know, how do I better serve the people that are watching my videos? Um, you know, you've, you've hopefully you've already figured out who your target audience is and who the people are that you're trying to reach. And you have to make sure that, you know, okay, well, if my audience retention's low, that means that most likely I'm not reaching the people that I'm trying to reach. So I need to, or I'm not giving them the information they want. So I need to make adjustments um, in order to make that happen. But yeah, being patient and uploading consistency are, or consistently, pardon the verbal blunders today. My, I woke up early and I've been traveling today. So, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, uploading consistently is number two and being patient is number one because it takes time just like with anything, right? Like if you're like, if you start an exercise program and you're like, Hey, I want to get buff. I'm, I want to wake up tomorrow and be buff. You're going to be disappointed when you go to sleep and you wake up and you know, you're not buff when you step on the scale and you haven't even lost a pound yet. Right. But if you, if you say, okay, well between now and a year from now, I'm going to do all of the stuff that I can in order to transform my body over time, then in that case, you're going to have a better chance of transforming your body over time. That's a realistic expectation because you have to build into that body, so to speak. Cutting the caboose, Danielle, thank you. I appreciate it. Speaking of weight loss, actually, you can check out her channel. She actually has some videos um, about her weight loss experience and what she's going through since we're talking about that anyway. Um, but in addition to that, you know, a, a business is the same way. You know, if you start a business today, you're not going to wake up tomorrow and then all of a sudden everything's just going to be awesome. You know, like it's going to take time for everything to fall into place, for everything to, you know, start working out in your favor, so to speak, based on the efforts that you put in and the strategies you use, stuff like that. YouTube is the same exact way, right? If you start, if you start uploading content today, unless you have videos go viral, which most people cannot sustain that, but unless you have videos go viral, then you know, it is going to take time. You have to create all those doorways into your channel so that, you know, you're on the other side of all of those searches. And then, you know, people over time just start coming in more and more and more and more. Um, and, you know, people are sharing your stuff and, you know, all that stuff. It, it all takes time to get that ball rolling. There are things that you can do to, you know, kind of get that momentum going a little bit faster, but, you know, it still takes time. You know, like, even if you're doing everything right, for growing like a, a, a nice, sustainable channel. Even if you're doing everything right, it still takes it still takes time. So be patient. It's the hardest thing to do. It, for me, it's hard too. You know, I want I want I want, you know, I want hundred thousand subscribers right now. Right? But unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way. I have to build into a hundred thousand subscribers. Uh let's see here. Jerry Horton, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the super chat. Master Savage says, I love the channel, Nick. Thank you. I appreciate it. Villa Ferte Productions, I hope I'm saying that right, says, I watched all your videos and YouTube. Ha my YouTube has been good. That is awesome to hear. I love feedback like that. Ethical Guru, what is going on? Nice to see you as well. Simple Device Advice, what is going on? Bistro Music, nice to have you in here as well. Rony Productions, nice to see you too and thanks for the heads up on the shirt or the or the nice words on the shirt red pill psychology interesting i'm actually going to open your channel because i bet that is good stuff and real quick i want to go ahead and make a mention since that just happened um 
that's the importance of a channel name, right? If, if you noticed what just happened there is I looked at the channel name, Red Pill Psychology, right? And the, the, the whole thing behind like the whole red pill thing is basically like, well, I'm not going to get into all that, but like if you are, are into that, right, and you are into like, you know, a similar way of thinking, then when you see that channel name, you think, oh, okay, I wonder what this is about, right? So that's, that shows, I mean, that was a clear example of how powerful a channel name can be if you are, you know, doing things in a way to, um, to, to speak to your target audience, right? Red Pill Psychology, nailed it. Because, you know, I saw the channel name, said, oh, opening this one up, definitely have to check it out. And the question from Red Pill Psychology was, what products to sell on YouTube to make more money? Your own products, if you can create your own products, then you can do very well um, on YouTube. Outside of that, looking for higher end or any end um, affiliate products is a way to go. Um, in your case, if you look at, like I haven't watched any of your videos, but if you look at, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm searching my brain here. Like I said, my brain's a little tired tonight, um, today for, for most of you. Um, oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, oh man, it begins with a C, I think. You know what? I, it's, I'm, I'm. Oh gosh, it's so close. Oh, and I can't I can't pull it out. Ah like I, I I know what I I I know the channel, I can see the guy's face, but I just I just can't picture the channel name. Normally I can because I actually reference the channel a lot. Charisma. Um gosh, what is it? Help me out. Uh channels with uh with charisma and the channel name. Um man. Anyway, if if you check out just just look for like char charisma on command. That's it. Okay, if you look for Charisma on Command, um, y you'll see that they actually have like training programs and stuff like that based around what it is that they're doing on their channel. Um, you can you can also do something like that depending on on what it is exactly that you're sharing. But you know, like if you're doing courses and things like that, those can be extremely um, lucrative um, if you're driving a lot of uh, driving a lot of your traffic to it. Like if your if your channel, I'm guessing, because you're going the you know Red Pill Psychology, so I I you know I know what you're like I know the the idea of what you're going with. I, I'm just not sure how you're presenting it or, or how you're delivering the information. But if you are tapping into your you know target market that way, and if you can come up with something that is of value to them that you can that you can offer, then um, doing you know courses and things like that is is can be a huge win for for a channel like yours. As long as as long as you're doing it the way that I'm thinking you're doing it, that can be huge. Um, let's see here. What is your best YouTube advice for a gamer to grow their channel? Um, my best YouTube advice for a gamer to grow their channel would be to do something other than let's plays to try to like actually edit your videos, make your videos exciting, make your videos share some type of information outside of just playing the game and be yourself. Don't try to be PewDiePie. Don't try to be Jacksepticeye. Don't try to be Mark Piler. Don't try to be, you know, anybody else. Just do your stuff. Try to come up with your own way of doing things. Of course, you know, modeling success can, you know, can can help, you know, make things easier by looking at other people in the niche and saying, hey, what are they doing? How do they, you know, how um, uh, how can I take what they're doing and apply it to what it is that I'm doing? You know, you can do stuff like that as well. Just don't, you know, don't try to be them. You know what I mean? I use Sony Vegas most of the time. Sometimes I use Adobe Premiere Techie Virus. Justin Bennett says, start today and thank yourself later. Absolutely. Tyrese Logan, what is going on? Nice to see you. Jimmy Changa, I haven't researched enough. Okay, you guys are talking to each other. Lucid, Red Bill Socrata, great to meet a fellow psychologist here on the stream. Cheers. Nice, nice. We got some connections going. You guys should meet up and collaborate or something. You guys should hop in here. All I have to do is go to the right side of the chat there, click on the channel name, go to the channel name, go to the about page, send each other a message, connect, work on a collaboration or something. The Game Master Gaming says, VIP, you've helped me so much. That is awesome. Glad to see that you're a part of the VIP club. Let's see here. Okay, so real quick, because I know I know some people are waiting around for this, so I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Um, now we're going to get into the to the contest winners. And just so you know, um, for the contest winners for this, I need to check something really quick as well. 
So for the contest winners for this, um, I'm going to be saying your name here, right? But the actual contest itself, let's see here, where is this? The the actual contest itself, like the, uh, I'm getting what I'm getting at um, is I'm going to be contacting you personally via your YouTube channel or Facebook or email. Actually, it's going to be email. I'm going to be contacting you personally via email um, with because I have to give you like codes and all that stuff. So um, for everybody um, that is a winner, I'm going to be contacting you via email and sending um, your login information or your coupon code or um, whatever whatever it is, depending on what it is that you won, um, I'm going to be contacting you via email to get that to you. So let's see here. I need what I'm what I'm looking for right now is the actual sheet. You know, what? I'm actually just going to do it this way. So let's see here. 50k. All right, that's not going to be the way to do it. Okay, so we're just going to do it this way. Okay, so for the 50k winners, here's what we got. Okay, so TubeBuddy at tubebuddy.com slash, I, I, I think my, my code on there is, it's down in the description below, but I'm, I, I just want to make sure that I say this right here. Um, yes, uh, tubebuddy.com slash Nimmin. So for the, for the three month, it's a three month TubeBuddy Pro account. The winners for that, the winners for the three month TubeBuddy Pro account are Amira, at Amira and is they 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 won one of those. The second winner for that is Raven Selenite. The third winner for that is Lane over at Gamer Joke 17. The fourth winner is Technical Mind Preamp from Technical Mind. The next winner. The, the fifth one for this one is Aaron over at your personal driver. So if any of you are in the stream, please sound off because I just want to uh, I just want to see if you are in here. And I've actually I've, I've seen some names in here and, and I'm going through the next list here in a second. I've seen some names in here of people that are coming up on the list also. So you might be one of those people. I'm not sure, but uh, but we're going to see. OK. So super user. Excellent timing, by the way. Okay, so the next up on the list is five one-month TubeBuddy Star accounts, right? So basically with the TubeBuddy Star account, you get, more, um, you get more options, more features, and things like that. So, um, oh, did you get, um, I see your driver Mike saying, oh, Aaron, you won your personal driver. Yeah, I don't know if Aaron is, uh, is in the chat or not, but I know he's in here sometimes um, for the Saturday live streams. I came in a little bit late today, so... Not sure. So for the one month TubeBuddy star accounts, and real quick, I want to make sure that I say, you know, thanks to uh, Phil and, and uh, Andrew over at TubeBuddy for helping me, you know, with this giveaway, because, you know, if it wasn't for them, then I wouldn't be able to hook you guys up with cool stuff, um, with the exception of the Tuber Tools stuff that I'm giving away after this. Uh, but yeah, I just want to give a huge shout out to the kind folks over at TubeBuddy for hooking us up with all of these um all of these codes. Okay, so the for the one month two buddy star account, we have Darrell over at Super User. Sound off because I just saw you in here. <laughs> we have Justin Bennett, which I know is in here. Um, we have Greg from Free American Spirit. Greg is a friend of mine. I talked to him on YouTube or on Facebook quite a bit, so that's I was pretty happy to see his name come up as well. Um, Tank Happy is a winner for that. And Valentine, I don't know if it's Valentine or Valentine, um, but it's uh, Valentine Torma. And he has a fitness channel, and I, I actually didn't look what the, um, what the actual channel name was. And for the one-year TubeBuddy Legend account, we have Dennis from True Financials, from the YouTube channel True Financials. So that is for the, so now so now that's the TubeBuddy portion of the giveaway. Now we're moving into the Tuber Tools portion 
of the giveaway. So I just want to also say that while putting this giveaway together, for me, um, I, I was really struggling because my my friend Alex over at the Everything Tesla uh, channel, um, I was having a conversation with him and and I was like, man, I'm you know I'm trying to figure out you know what I should do for these you know for the giveaway and you know I don't want to exclude people. I would love to have something like a like a blanket thing that I could just do for everybody, um, you know, and that sort of stuff. And and you know we were kind of going back and forth and brainstorming on ideas on what we can do for the giveaway. And, uh, and he actually, it was his idea. He was like, Hey, you know, why don't you, um, you know, why don't you do something with like tuber tools and, 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 you know, reach out to tube buddy and see if you can work something out with them. And as soon as he said it, I was like, yes, because I mean, it's, it's perfect because originally I was thinking of giving away like a microphone or, you know, like, uh, like a, a webcam or, you know, something like that. But with this, it's so awesome because, you know, one, I can give away a bunch of stuff. And two, even if you don't win, if you use uh, Nick's Buddy, I believe is the coupon code, then either on TubeBuddy, you'll save like 20% off of whatever package you get, which is awesome. Um, and on Tuber Tools, if you use that, you're also going to save. I said it in my video that it was going to be 20%, but I actually made it, I think, like 30 or 35% um, on the front end store if you use Nick's Buddy as your coupon code when you check out there um, as well. So this was definitely a better fit than just giving away like one microphone or something because this way, you know, a lot of people, you know, they a lot there's a lot of winners here and in addition to that if you didn't win, then you at least win with, you know, a discount which will save you a few bucks um as well, which is pretty cool. Uh men's finest. I got the chat being displayed on the right-hand side. That is um basically pulled in through OBS. I just use a Let's see here. What's the thing here? Chat is a browse capture, I believe, inside of OBS. And then I just put the URL, and then I custom code the CSS for it. That's how I, uh, that's how I get that done. Okay, so next up, now we're moving into the Tuber Tools portion of the giveaway. So for the Tuber Tools portion of the giveaway, at the very top of the list for a one-year Tuber Tools membership, we have Linda from Bodies After Babies. We have, that's the first one. We have, the second one is Zion from Zion Sherman YouTube channel. The third one is Liz from Fun Vlogger, which was in here earlier. I don't, I don't know if she's still in here or not. Um, she was in here earlier. Um, the fourth is Zach Yer. I hope I'm saying Yer correctly, but it's Zach Yer. Um, the fifth one for that and this was from a second entry because how the how the giveaway worked was basically you know if you did different things then basically you you know, like if you subscribe to this channel then you got an entry if you subscribe to the other channel you got an entry and Aaron from your personal driver um, his second entry also got him a one year um, Tuber Tools membership so there is the five one year memberships the lifetime. Tuber Tools membership goes to Daryl over at Super User, right? Also on his second entry. And the very last thing on this list is Brian G. Johnson's Tube Ritual book. And in Brian G. Johnson's Tube Ritual book, basically, he helps you jumpstart your journey to 5,000 YouTube subscribers. Greg, Free American Spirit. Yes, you did. You just won a, let's see here. You are in the list. One second here. Let me find you. You got a one month um, TubeBuddy star account, Greg, is what you got. But yeah, the last thing here on the list is for, for Brian G. Johnson's Tube Ritual book. And for that, um, this was uh, Dennis's second entry um, for True Financials. So Dennis got this, and he got one of the um, two buddy things as well. So that's it for the for the for the winners here. And like I said before, I'm going to be contacting everyone individually. Is that what he got? I'm I'm going to be con I'm going to be contacting everyone uh, individually via email um, with all of the information um, that you need in order to um, in order to do this. So again, special thanks to the kind folks over there at TubeBuddy 
And of course, you know, my website, Tuber Tools, you know, where you can find everything you need for your YouTube channel. And to Brian G. Johnson for tossing in a Tube Ritual copy as well. Congrats. Congratulations to the winners. A big round of applause if you're sitting at home by yourself right now. Nobody's in the room. Go ahead and clap. If other people are in the room, no need to clap, of course, because you don't want to look like a crazy person just sitting there clapping, kind of like I'm doing right now, looking like a crazy person. Okay, so now we're going to get back into the, um, now that we have that fun part out of the way, um, we are going to get back into the Q&A section for that. Yeah, bodies after babies. There you are saying, woohoo, yeah. Yeah, so congratulations to all the winners. Like I, I was, I'm, I'm really, really uh, happy that um, that we were able to come up with, you know, some things that you know we're gonna give away a list of stuff instead of just giving away, you know, like one thing, like a microphone or something like that. So you know, I, I was, I was super happy um, about that. And what's funny also is, you know, for 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 you in the stream right here, right now a little thing that, you know, I won't be saying in a video or, or anything like that. So you're only getting this here and it's like an hour in. So a lot of people are never going to hear this except for you that are listening right now. So one thing that, uh, that is funny about this is the audience retention on my giveaway video was extremely low in comparison to all of my other content. And the funny thing is, is towards the end of that video, I said that, um, the details were down in the description, right? So a lot of the people were saying things in the comments because I got, I got, I got a ton of comments on that video, but a lot of people were saying things in the comments, um, you know, about like what it is that they were wanting and, you know, that kind of stuff, but they didn't actually enter the contest because they didn't go into the description and see that you needed to actually like, you know, click on a link and then you go so that I can click the random button and then it randomly pulls people out of the, um, out of the queue, right? So a lot of people, they didn't complete the video. And because of that, a lot of people missed out on actually entering and actually having a chance to win, which was, uh, which is kind of, you know, unfortunate. So, <laughs> but uh, back on the positive side again, you know, congratulations to everyone who won and I will be contacting you personally. I'll be sending an email out to you. So keep an, uh, so keep an eye out for, um, my email. I am going to, Bodies After Baby says it pays to be thorough. Absolutely. Um, so um, I won't be doing it um, tomorrow because it's nighttime here for me. It's like almost 11 o'clock at night. Um, so I won't be doing it tomorrow because I'm, I am I don't work on Sundays. Um, but on Monday, um, expect an email from me and um, you'll get, you know, like a coupon code in there. If it's a Tuber Tools membership, then you're going to get your, um, your a, a link to the membership side. You're going to get a... Um, uh, uh, username, password for all of that, and you know all of that stuff. So, um, so just keep an eye out for that on on Monday, and that's Monday my time. So for most of you right now, um, you know it'll be you know when you go to bed and you wake up, it'll 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 be in your email. Free American Spirit, Greg says, can Caboose help me with the last twenty pounds? Yeah, absolutely. She's lost a ton of weight. I mean, not literally a ton of weight. <laughs> But but she's lost a lot of weight. Go check out go check out her channel. She's lost a, a lot of weight and she shares her her story there and, and you know the things that she's doing to to lose weight. Okay, let's see here. Help me, I want to do custom thumbnails, but it said I had to sign on from a computer. Please help. Okay. If you are getting the error, and I'm I'm gonna have to make a video about this because I, I'm getting a lot of comments about this. Um, if you are having trouble making or, or getting your thumbnails on your channel, right? Then what you do, um, to answer your question, Danielle, yes, absolutely. I'm actually looking for you right here, and I will I will mod you up right here, actually, as soon as I see your name, because I just saw that come in on Facebook. Um, let's see here. I just kind of lost my train of thought there for a second. Okay, um, how do you keep, since I lost my train of thought there, because like I said, you know, I'm tired, but um, how, I, um, how I keep audience retention and how I recommend other people do, uh, Red, Red Pill uh, Psychology asks, 
how do you keep audience retention? Jump cuts, is it better to talk faster or slower? Um, traditionally, it's better to talk faster. Like the, the higher rate of videos, I can't remember off the top of my head the exact word count, but um, it's pretty fast on, you know, on, on top channels. Um, but with that said, exploding your channel might not necessarily be the thing in comparison to actually just getting yourself in front of the people that you want to be in front of, if that makes any sense. So um, the rate at which you speak, like, okay, let me do it this way. If you're making content that, hold on real quick, I need to chain or open something here real quick. Okay. If you're making content that is, let's say, made for an, an older demographic, right? And that this is, this is where, where it comes in as far as, you know, for your target audience. If, if you're making content that is for an older demographic, in that case, it's better that you speak slower. If you're making content for a younger demographic or a middle age-ish um, demographic, in that case, then you can speed it all up a little bit because, you know, all the comprehension, you know, is still there at the, at the faster pace. Um, the same thing with your editing. You know, like the way that I edit my videos for somebody that's like 70 years old, some people will dig it. Some of them will dig it. But for a lot of them, it's going to be way too much. Right. So you definitely want to you you definitely want to use your editing style and the way that you present your videos so that it speaks to your audience, not so that it um, not just so that it's like, hey, I want my video to be this way. It's, it's so that it communicates effectively with the people that you want to watch your content. Now, as far as your audience retention is concerned, your audience retention basically tells you um, if you're making content in the way that your target audience is wanting to consume it, right? So basically what you do is, like, let's say that you're, you know, I, I should make one of these to pull up on screen because this comes up a lot, but let's say that your, um, your retention drops off at the, at the beginning a little bit like it always does on pretty much every channel, and then it kind of levels out, and then you go through your intro and stuff like that. And then you see like a like a, a decent drop, right? Like like a noticeable drop. Then what that means is you need to look in that area and say, okay, what was I doing in that area? Was I just kind of dragging on with what I was talking about? Um, did I not cut something? Did I cut something too fast? Did I change topics? Like what is it in this particular area that caused people to head out of there? And then you start looking at all of your content and all of those drops, and you start trying to fine tune it. You say, okay, in these areas, what's going on? Do, maybe it's maybe it's something small you need to do, um, like just push in on the frame a little bit, just to make something change to you know keep the interesting to keep the interest going. Um, in other cases, you know, if you're making videos for like a younger demographic, you know, having stuff changing around all the time and doing all types of like pattern interrupts all the time and things like that um, can also be very um, effective for you know like a younger demographic. But basically, like per your channel you need to dig into your audience retention and, and literally analyze it second by second on all of your content and make tweaks based, based upon what it is that you're seeing inside of your audience retention reports. And when you do that, um, then over time, then you're definitely going to um, level everything up. But you really have to pay attention to that because, you know, it's, let's see here. Okay, one for YouTuber tools, rock love the new intro. Awesome. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate it. But yeah, one thing that's really important about the audience retention is that YouTube rewards videos that keeps viewers watching, right? So if you can, if you can fine tune your audience retention, it might take you 50 videos to really get your, to really get your video structure down, or you might be able to figure it out in like two or three or four or you might nail it right out of the gate because you're the type of person that's into the type of content that you're making. So you are your own target demographic. So you make the content that perfectly fits with your target demographic and all that, because that's what you're into, which is, you know, which is the best fit. But if, if that's not the case, then just use your um, audience retention reports to really fine tune everything for your audience. Costume cinematographer says that, um, that she needs slow talkers because she's super old. <laughs> uh. Okay, a cheap microphone, Techie Virus. A cheap microphone that you can connect um, to a mobile is a Rode Video Mic Me. I have a review for it on my channel. You can also use a Rode Lav Mic, uh, Smart Lav Mic, Rode Smart Lav. 
Um, I think that's under 100 bucks. You can use a Boya uh, M B Y M one. Um, I think that is under 100 bucks. Um, or you can just hop on Amazon um, and you can look for like a cheap lavalier mic or something like that. And in most cases, even those super cheap lavalier mics are going to make your audio sound better than it does if you are, you know, if you're if you're holding your phone out here and then you're recording um, from far away. Okay, let's see here at Redstone. Let's hear what Redstone say. Let's see here. Redstone Jones says, why did you not finish my question? You know what? Ask your question again, and, and I'll readdress it. The Social Brook, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. Let's see here. Yeah, ask your question again, and I will um, continue it. Because, yeah, I, I completely got derailed. Okay. Whoa. Just saying, love you, man. Larry Snow, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Big thank you for that one. That's a that's a that's a big one. We don't get a lot of those around here, so thank you for that. Uh, uh, what file types does Lightworks reject? I'm not sure. I use um, Sony Vegas and, and Adobe Premiere, so um, even though I know Lightworks is free and that it is good, um, I don't know the ins and outs of Lightworks. It's Rowan E L. Um, can you shout me out in one of your videos? It depends. You know what? I'm going to look at your channel right now. And this is where visual authority really comes into play. Nope. The answer to that is no. Okay. Let's see here. Fit for a better ride. I got you. I, I have you open here for when I start doing the reviews here shortly. <laughs> Um, a good editing app, if you have a Android, uh, the KindMaster app is a good um, editing app for Android. Nick Atwell in the house, what is going on? Nice to see you, Fazzle. What is happening? Free Bitcoin Earnings says, congrats, Nick. Nike. Congrats, Nike, for the 50,000 subs. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm like 54 now. Super exciting. Super, super, super exciting. Uh, let's see here. Thanks for answering my question. My pleasure. Nick, could you please shout me out? Creative Queen X, what is going on? Nick, I'm finding difficulty to make different content. If you are finding difficulty making um, different types of content, if you have, if you're running out of video ideas, all you have to do is just go to YouTube, type in the autocomplete box, and just start looking for what other people are looking for and then start making videos around that that are based on um, the topics that you personally cover on your channel. Mark Stevenson says, you offer the best advice. You are the best resource a YouTuber could have. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Fails to Flip says, Photoshop versus Premiere. Um, for video editing, definitely Premiere. For graphics, definitely uh, Photoshop. Uh, Beanie Draw says, is there a reason why Premiere won't import the audio of a video? Um, it's because of the codec that the audio is. So um, if your camera, like if you're using like an older camera, in some cases, it won't pull in the audio um, because it'll have some weird um, codec in it that Premiere doesn't support. Um, in that case, what you need to do is you need to run the audio for your video through some type of converter, or run the whole video through a video converter like a handbrake. Um, that's H-A-N-D-B-R-A-K-E. Yeah, um, handbrake. Just Google for that. Um, if you run it through that first and then you pull in the audio from that, from, from the result that it spits out, and then you work with your original video, just basically, you know, click, basically ungroup the audio from the one that you converted and then um, ungroup the audio from the original video. Don't ungroup it, just just mute it. And then, um, and then delete the portion, the video portion on the one that you converted, and then drop that audio up there, and then group all of those so that you can, you know, cut it all together. But yeah, that's that's um, that would be wise because there's a codec there that Premiere isn't supporting for whatever reason. So in order to get around that, then just use Handbrake or something like that. Uh, let's see here, Nick. Did you see the little preview that plays on thumbnails now? Pretty cool. Not on some older ones though. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm trying to figure out um, exactly, you know, where, because it's, it's pulling from random spots. So I'm trying to figure out exactly where, because I want to um, get text on the screen there. 
right? I want to get text on the screen. So, um, so, cause I know, I know it's random, which sucks because they do that cause they don't want us to, you know, exploit it or whatever. But, um, but yeah, I want to get text on the screen so that, you know, it can kind of reinforce something when people are, are scanning over it. But I'm guessing because it is random that it might even change with each upload I'm, or with each page load. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, t tech and tricks, you have the option if you're going to monetize or not after 10K. Totally up to you. It's just they give you the option to where it's like, hey, you've, you've crossed the barrier to entry. Congratulations, you have 10,000 subscribers. If you want to make money with us, you absolutely can. Welcome to the YouTube Partner Program. All right, so let's see here. How to properly tag your videos. Basically, what you want to do is you want to definitely put in the, the phrase that you are going for in your title, and then you want to basically create all of your tags around that phrase that you're going for. You want to make them relevant tags to the, the actual phrase that you're trying to rank your video for. TubeBuddy will help you with that. If you don't have TubeBuddy already, I've got a link to them down in the description below. Um, they Their suggestions in most cases are awesome. Um, sometimes they're not, they're completely off sometimes. So basically you want to use that with, um, you just want to keep an open mind when you're using those tags and you don't want to say, well, just because TubeBuddy suggested them to, to me, I should use them. You want to still work within relevancy and say, okay, well, TubeBuddy uh, suggested this to me. Does it apply? And if the answer is yes, then go ahead and click on that little plus and get it in there. If the answer is no, skip it over. Brian G. Johnson is in the house. Everybody, big round of applause for Brian G. Johnson in the house. What is going on, Brian G? Nice to see you in here, buddy. Conrad, thanks for your help. Went quickly to 183 subs. High five, fist bump. That is awesome to hear. Congratulations on that. Brian, so we've got the giveaway winners. Um, I went over that earlier. And True Financials is the YouTube channel um, for your book. So the person that is going to be getting your book is, I believe his name is Dennis from, let's see here. I'll confirm this real quick. Yeah, his name is Dennis from uh, True Financials is the, is, the, is the book winner. How do, you how do you record perfect and clear voice? Please suggest um, a perfect and clear voice. Microphones are the way to do that. You want to make sure that you get a, a, a relatively decent quality um, microphone. It doesn't have to be the best one. It just has to be one that's good enough, and you want to keep it close to you. That's why lavaliers are so popular is, is it's close to your mouth, right? It's only you know this far this far away from your mouth. So it picks up what you're saying a lot clearer without having all of the reverb around the room, you know, all going into the microphone. But if you have your your camera, your phone, you know, sitting back here and then you're you're recording from that, what happens is all of the all of the reverb is bouncing the audio is bouncing all around the room and that basically by the time it gets into the mic then you have all of that extra sound that's coming in with it. The, another thing that you can do is you can actually put a um, a boom pole, and basically what that is is it's just kind of like a think of it like a like a stand, and you know it's on the floor, and then you have it it comes up, and then it has another arm that comes off of it, kind of like this, right? But it's but it's on a on a on a floor stand. You know you might actually be able to. Well, you can see it sticking out just a tad up there. But, but basically, you put your microphone on that, and then it's close to you, and then you put the mic just a little bit out of frame, like right here, right, so that it's still close to you, you know, as close as you can get it, and you, you basically want to be, you know, all of your voice going right into, uh, going right into that microphone. Zaggy DK, what is going on, Casper? Nice to see you in here. Um, to remove static in Audacity, actual static or noise? Um, because all you have to do is is catch a noise print and then run it through uh, uh, a denoiser inside of Audacity. I use Audition to process my audio, so I'm not like really up on Audacity. Um, but I have used Audacity in the past, and that's how I did it. Okay, so now we are going to get into the review portion of this channel review live stream all right yeah looking good there 
All right. Nick, I don't get the watch time. Yeah, that's the most important factor, LYD. If you're not getting watch time, then you need to keep changing things and keep keep fine-tuning until you do get the watch time. Because if you're not getting watch time, then YouTube is not going to promote your content internally if you're not getting the watch time. Because basically what happens is people are coming to your videos and they're leaving if you're not getting watch time. And what that means is that people are not interested in what it is that you're doing or for whatever reason, they're they're getting turned off somewhere or you're just not, you know, a good fit for the target that you're after yet. Like the content that you're making isn't a isn't a great fit yet for the people that you're trying to be in front of. And because of that, um, they're bailing. Right. So it's super important that you that you learn to work around that so that you can um, so you can get better at holding people's attention on your videos. Uh, Jimmy Changa says that you should make a, bit, a tutorial on noise editing. I absolutely am. And that tutorial is actually going to be on my new channel, Creator Insights. Um, that channel, there's a link to it down in the description below, or you can hop in the search bar and just go to, um, just type in Creator Insights, and then you will see, um, you'll see that pop up there. Let me see here. So I'm going to get into the review portion of this, because I know that's what a lot of you are in here for. And, you know, that's another thing, right? Like, um, speaking of the target demographic, right? And, 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 and speaking to your audience and, and giving your audience what they want, you know, I know that you're not here. And, you know, I know a lot of you are not here just to listen to me blab all day, right? You're, you, you want tips and Gord Eisman in the house and you want, you know, you, you want your channel to, uh, you want me to look at your channel too. So I'm going to, I'm going to get into that right here in a second. Gord Eisman in the house. What is going on, my man? Too funny. I'm working on noise, noise removal for Camtasia video now. Yeah. So with Gord, Gord makes uh, Camtasia videos and other videos around you know the video making space and uh he says that he is working on how to remove noise in camtasia right now a video that's going to be going up on his channel later but yeah gord also does some good like green screen stuff and things like that so uh so definitely check out gord and you know brian he's he was in here i don't know if he still is oh yeah he's still in there he says dang fifty four thousand, bam yeah so if you are in the stream right now and there's not a lot in here right now. I should have came in earlier, but it's at 111. If you're in the stream right now and you're not familiar with that guy with the G next to his name, Brian T. Johnson, make sure that you go and check out his channel because he also helps YouTubers grow their channels and, and learn about, you know, the, the ins and outs of YouTube and how to, you know, get your channel rolling. So if you have not checked out Brian yet, if you're not familiar with him, definitely go over there and check out B to the G. And he says he's so proud of me. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Makes me feel so good. Makes me feel. Makes me makes me makes me feel amazing. Nah, seriously though, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Okay, yeah, and, and Brian's also running a a um thirty day challenge. It is the oh AM details. Alan, what is going on? Juan Lopez vlogs is also in the house. Nice, nice, man. We, we got a whole new batch of folks coming in here right now. This must have been shared somewhere. <laughs> a a Alan at AM Details says, Brian G. Johnson TV, who? You dig? So AM Details, while he's in here, um, you know, I'm actually going to make you a mod also, dude. Um, so AM Details, Alan, um, he does car detailing videos and he is actually coming up on my channel relatively soon. We we recorded a collaboration video um, last week. Um, and the thing with him is I, I really wanted to get him on the channel because his story about what happened um, with his YouTube channel and, and, and what his YouTube channel has been able to provide for him um, is absolutely amazing. So I wanted to have him on to share that information just to kind of reinforce and let let people know that, you know, like when you're when you're when you're at home, right? And I mentioned this in my last my last live stream too, is when you're at home and you're making content by yourself. You're into YouTube by yourself, right? Like you're just in there and you're you know you're cranking away and you're you know you're trying to get it all going. But one thing that you might not know yet is that as your channel grows, as your influence grows, a lot of really cool things can start to happen, and. Some of the stuff that happened with him is what we're going to be sharing um, in that collaboration video when it goes 
when it goes live. But it's it's really good stuff. And and not only has it helped him grow his his business, like in, not an internet business, an actual business that you can walk into, but it's also helped him uh, be recognized as a leader in his industry as well, which is also very, very powerful. Dingus, bring us. I got you, man. All right. Um, let's see here. Simple advice, advice. Love, you got to go. No problem. Let's see. Our Green Nerd Explorer artwork is off the chain. Yes. Nerdy Explorer is incredible. His his videos are absolutely, absolutely incredible. We did a collaboration on this on, on my channel as well. He did amazing, amazing stuff. And you know what's funny is I always talk about visual authority, right? And with Nerdy Explorer, he's an excellent example of that because, um, you know, he doesn't have a lot of subscribers right now. Um, he should have like a million you know, with the type of content that he makes, but like his stuff is so good that that visual authority, right? For the people that do see his stuff that, that appreciate that type of content, like you subscribe to his channel, like, Oh, I would be an, I would be a moron not to subscribe to this channel. Right. So, uh, uh, like his stuff is just awesome. And, and because it's so good and he puts so much heart in, in effort into the content he creates it, I mean, it's absolutely incredible. 30-day reviews. Yep. I'm opening you up right now. I'm, I'm getting ready to start that portion of the of the stream right here in just a second. I'm just kind of queuing them up here in the in the background. Yeah, the guard at Nerdy Explorer says, thanks. I just need to work harder. No, you're doing all right, man. Like your 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 passion is coming through, right? So it's just the um, you know, it's it's just what um it's just the other things that you're that you're doing with the channel. You know what I mean? Yeah, he should have a babillion. Absolutely. Visual authority. Boom. Boom. All right, so now we're going to get into the review portion of this live stream. Cuz I know I know that's what I know that's what you want to hear. Do you prefer YouTube as a full-time carrier? Like a phone carrier? Or do you mean like career? I I love being a YouTuber. I love it. Love being a YouTuber. Greg, Free American Spirit. Brian gets his name to show up blue in the chat. Like that. Free American Spirit, say something. Say 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 something else in the chat. Okay, let's see here. So right now what I'm doing is <clears throat> I'm going into I'm going into hey, hey Brian, also man, if you're still in here, um I was also talking about morning fame a little bit earlier here in the chat and talking about how valuable the thumbnail comparison feature is in there as far as like showing, you know, how your thumbnails compare against your competitor thumbnails. That's just a, that's just an awesome, awesome feature um, in there. Whoa. Okay. So the first one on the list, and let me close this panel here. Hide everything that I want to hide because I don't want you guys seeing any of that that horrible stuff on here. Let's see here. Nope, that's not it. Um, display. There it is. Boom. All right. So here we go. So you've been working on your thumbnails. And what I see here is, man, you're, you're getting so close. <laughs> Like, this is a lot better than the last time. Th th this is actually okay. Like this one right here. Um, like, with the uh, bar on the top, I would personally move that down to the down to the bottom and push all this stuff um, up to the top. Um, here, four leg exercises with your horse, exercises with horses. I would lose the exercises with horses and keep the four leg exercises with your horse. Or lose all of this, fill this with a picture, and put exercises with horses across the bottom. Um, new video soon, update video. I'm going to skip that one just because that's kind of an update. Strong legs for riding, lower body, that's good. Um, balance in the saddle, that one is definitely good. Poster scores, that one's good. Yeah, it's this one right here um, that seems to be the, the issue because that's the first one that I saw. Um, it's this one right here that seems to be the issue. This particular one looks a little bit cluttered. Um, I think it's just because of all the words on it. But these other ones... Yeah, these these are definitely a lot better. Um, one thing as well, like I see you're doing it because of the timestamp, so that's that's definitely smart. Um, but just a little side note, 
like here in the situation where you're balancing all of your text here in the middle, I would still, even at the risk of the, the timestamp covering it up, from a design standpoint, I would still move that um, to the middle or just not use any text down there on the bottom at all. Um, but I know that you're trying to identify that it's a yoga pose, but I would definitely, you know, just because it kind of knocks it all out of whack, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, this one's OK, because how you have it over here to the left. Right. And then you have this on the left as well. Like that's that's totally cool right there. So maybe like in a situation like this where you're doing this, maybe work with all of your text on the left so that you can, you know, keep that line instead of knocking it out of whack there. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Boom. Okay. Next up on the list. Next up on the list. Next up on the list today. But yeah, um, fit for a better ride. A lot better. A lot better. Um, the, you know, it, it's, it's a lot cleaner now. Um, and, and it's a lot simpler. And, and the whole idea is you just want it to where when people look at your channel, they get it at a glance or they look at your thumbnail, they get it at a glance. And another thing too, that you might want to do and, and morning fame is excellent for this. Another thing you might want to do is you look for the terms that you're ranking for or, 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 or that you are already ranking for, not you want to rank for, you look for the terms that you're already ranking for and you see how your video shows up next to other people's videos in search and look at their look at their thumbnails and say would i click on my thumbnail compared to their thumbnail right if for the main term that you're trying to rank for would i click on my thumbnail over their thumbnail if you would then you're probably on the right path if you would not if their if theirs grabs a lot more attention than yours then you might want to like tweak your colors or the size of your text or your imagery or something like that to try to make yours pop out um, just a little bit more it can make a big difference. Okay, let's see here. So I'm going into Twitter here for this next one. Let's see here. And just so you know, too, the rules here for the um, channel reviews, or for the, I mean, these are surface level channel reviews. These are not like, you know, in-depth things. These are basically first impressions, right? But but the rules for this is you have to have a custom layout on your channel. You have to, it has to look like you're putting some type of effort. And this is visual authority again. You have to look like you're putting some type of effort um, into your into your channel in order to, in order to make it into um, in, into one of the reviews. Okay, so next up on the list here, and this is this one's pulled from Twitter, is 850 pound gorilla, gorilla gaming. I love channel names with Gorilla in them. I don't know why. Products, too, like Gorilla Glue. Love them. Absolutely love them. I have a friend of mine. He has a YouTube channel called Amazon Gorillas, and same thing. You know, like that whole Gorilla thing. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I just like the name of that. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk more about what's going on in your channel. Okay. So here, 850-pound Gorilla. I have no idea what that means. Um, I don't know what it is that you're trying to do there. But this text, um, unless this is something that I'm not understanding that does speak to your target audience, I would definitely put whatever it is that you offer on your channel here. Instead of 850 pound gorilla, I would do, it seems like you're doing, you know, because you're named Gorilla Gaming. Um, since you're doing gaming videos, maybe, well, let me see if you're doing a particular game. Okay, yeah, so, so what I would do is I would do, you know, um, you know, new gaming videos every, you know, whatever, or something like that, or, or since you're doing, or if you're doing a specific game where it looks like over here that you might be, um, then I would do new, you know, whatever game videos every, you know, whatever, every week or two weeks or what a daily, you know, whatever your, uh, your schedule is for your, for your games. But your imagery, your imagery is good, you know, cause you know, I recognize him from Grand Theft Auto, him from Hitman, you know, not sure about these other guys. Um, Ooh, nice. Um, so, you know, like your, your imagery is good, but what you're actually doing here, um, is not. So I would definitely update that unless again, unless that's something that your target audience understands that I don't because I'm not your target audience. But if it's not, then I would make this a lot more specific. Your thumbnails, these look cool. This doesn't match anything else. Um, but, but you know, these thumbnails, um, they look cool. Um, another thing that you want to keep in mind too is, you want to 
like I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like looking at this, especially with a tired brain, and, and this is something that I want to really stress right now, is all of the reviews, that, or all the first impression um, uh, reviews that I'm going to be doing here for the next little bit, I'm looking at this with like an exhausted brain, right? So that's why it's extremely important to make things as, I don't want to say dummy proof, but let's say tired proof or as easy to possibly, or as easy to understand as possible because there are a lot of people on YouTube that are looking at videos, they're, they're trying to consume content, and they're looking around trying to figure out what to click on, what to click on next, what I want to look on, what I want to see next, and they're looking around, and the more difficult it is for them to understand what it is that you're doing, the less chance that you're going to have that you're going to that you're going to win them as a as a click or as a subscriber or as a viewer. So so it's really important to make everything just dead simple to understand. the 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 easier your stuff is to understand, the the easier everything is going to be on your channel, and the faster that you're going to grow because it's clear what it is that you're doing. I would definitely work on your titles too. Definitely work on your titles. Okay, so yeah, that's my that's my quick tip for you. And I'm gonna try to go through these a little bit faster too, um, so that I can get more so I can get more of them in. Because you know, there's there's a lot of people that are trying to get their channels looked at, and I I you know I I understand that. So I'm gonna try to go through these a little bit faster um, as well. Okay. And I'm going to pull something up here real quick before I go into this next one so that I can make sure that I'm getting everybody. Um, thanks thanks to the mods, whoever just got that guy. Okay, give me one second here. Literally, you can start at like a 15-second countdown. Okay. Okay, I'm not looking for that right now. So we're going to go into here just so I can make sure I get everybody that is. Yep. Okay. So the next up on the list is 30 day reviews. So I'm going to pull you up right now. 30 day reviews. Okay. 30 day reviews. Definitely update your channel. Your channel pick here. Um, when you actually drop the super chat, just as a side note here, when you drop the super chat, um, I thought. When I saw this, I thought that your account was like a default account. So I thought that, you know, like you were just somebody that maybe had a second channel that you were that you were stopping in with or something like that. Um, because of this, it l makes it look like it's an inactive channel. So I would definitely change this. I would try to make something cool around because your your name is super easy. 30 day reviews. Right. So I would definitely um, I would definitely try to do something with that in your in your avatar or since you're putting your face in the videos then I would also consider using a picture of you in your in your profile picture um, as well or instead of using your logo. But here you have 30-day reviews. Basically, says that you do 30-day uh, reviews. I'm not sure if that means that you're doing reviews 30 days out of the month. I'm not sure if that means that you're doing um, reviews after 30 days of owning something or, or what. I'm not sure. But the name is super easy to remember. Um, and I hope that you can grab the custom URL for that if you don't, um, if you haven't already. You have here that you do reviews and vlogs and that you do weekly uploads, which is also good because basically that lets the people know at a glance what it is um, that you're actually doing. 30-day reviews beyond unboxing. So I'm guessing that means that you, instead of just unboxing content, that you are also, um, you know, maybe showing them how to use it or something like that. That's, that's kind of the impression that I get when I land on your page there. Um, just as a side note, I would definitely, even though this is your channel trailer, I would definitely optimize your title for this and a description. Instead of just saying welcome, I would make it something um, a little bit more specific to your channel name or something like that so that you can, um, you know, maybe if somebody's looking for 30-day reviews, then maybe this video can come up for that to actually pull them in. And the same thing with your descriptions. Thumbnails, um, definitely use the custom thumbnail feature if you're not already. Uh, like, well, it looks like you have the option and it looks like you use them sometimes, but I would, I would use it in all of them. Um, it's not important that you're necessarily use graphics per se, 
but it is important that you use some type of element on these to connect all of your content together. And what I mean by that is, um, and, and I say this in, in every live stream, you're gonna hear this a bunch as I go through these videos or as I go through these channels, but the idea behind this is when somebody is watching your video and one of your other videos comes up in a related search or it comes up on a homepage or one of other one of YouTube's other features to where they're basically saying, hey, you know, somebody with a similar watch history um, to you has liked this particular piece of content. So we're going to show it to you on your homepage and see if it's something that you are interested in. Then you definitely want it to be something that they want to click on. But more importantly than that, for the people that are actually into your content already, for those people, you want them to be able to identify your content as yours so that they can click on it and come in and watch your video if they like the stuff that you make. So what I mean by that is if one of your subscribers sees this video, they're going to know that's you. If they see this video, they're not going to know this is you. And how they can connect that, right? Because you got to think on a homepage, you're competing with a bunch of videos, right? You're competing with a bunch, not just a bunch of videos, you're competing with a bunch of videos of people that they already like right, of content that they're already into. So you wanna make sure that you make it easy for people to know if they're into your content, that you make it easy for them to know that a particular video is yours. So one way that you can connect these two and all of these is to add some type of graphic element somewhere in here to connect this content so that they can identify it as yours. In your case, you could just use this 30-day calendar without even having the day reviews on here. Just that 30-day calendar, you could take that and you can put it, you know, I would space it right so it all looks good, but you could take that and put it like up in the top left of every single one of your videos so that people know when they see that, that, hey, this is his content, I'm into his stuff, I'm gonna go check it out. So that is what I have for you. I hope that is helpful. Also in the chat, um, you know, while I'm going over these, if, you know, and I always encourage in every single one of these, and yeah, Greg's got it, um, he, he's doing it. Yeah. Some, some, some other ones too. Um, definitely if you see when, when I pull these up on the screen, when you see them, because you know, your opinion is important as well. So when you, when these come up on the, on the screen, if you think, Hey, you know, your thumbnails look great. Your channel art looks great. It's so easy to understand what it is that you're doing on your channel or, you know, like whatever, whatever your thoughts are, then, you know, share them, you know what I mean? Share them because the more that you share, the more value we can create here um, during the live streams because that way they get my 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 view, they get your view, you know, so they can kind of get a mix of, of you know, what's going on with their channel and the different perceptions because, you know, there's a lot of people in here. Dollar Dude, what's going on, man? Nice to see you in here. Welcome to the Saturday stream. Okay, let's see here. Next up on the list, give me one second here to check Twitter. Let's see here. Okay, Fit for a Better Ride asks, um, I'm wanting to make different colors for each category, lower body red, upper body blue, etc. That is a fantastic idea to answer your question. Um, that is a fantastic idea, and the reason for that is because your subscribers will end up um, being able to recognize that. So if you also break those down into playlists, that can also make your channel page look even that much cooler and be that much more um, visually organized for the people that are, are that are coming in and consuming your content. So yeah, definitely, definitely do that. Um, okay, next up on the list here is, and I pulled this one from Twitter as well. Um, this is Sam Central. And Sam Central, thanks for 200 subscribers. That's cool that you're acknowledging your community as you should be a part of the channel. That is very good to have there. Um, the official channel of S Central. Okay. Um, same thing here, um, and especially because my tired brain, like, I see here, right, what's going on, and you have this as a channel announcement. Um, I can clearly see here that this is a this is a gaming channel, but you also want to make something up here that that makes it clear that you're making gaming content as well. Um, super important, um, and especially you know, like a lot of people will will depend on their channel trailer for that. They'll say, well, you know, I say what's going on on my channel trailer and you know, and all that stuff, but. Hold on real quick. But but they say, you know, hey, this is going on in my um, in my uh, uh, channel trailer. But one thing that, that you have to consider is sometimes people are, you know, they're watching a, a, or they're coming to YouTube and, you know, at the moment they have low volume 
or they're at work or they're out doing something else to where they're just kind of looking for stuff to watch later and they're going to subscribe or they're going to add a video to a watch later list or something like that based on the topics that they're going after. In your particular case, because of your gaming, so you're more entertainment based, but for people, you know, if you have, if you have a channel that, that makes a lot of how to content, like the importance from this or for this goes through the roof. Like as far as, you know, putting the type of content that you make here, I mean that the importance of that goes through the roof. And even if you say in your channel trailer, what it is that you do, you don't want to depend on that because, you know, people do, do go on YouTube while they're at work, while they're doing other things, while they're in the bathroom, you know, in a public place or whatever, and they don't want that audio coming out. So they'll turn it down and just look for stuff to watch later. So like, if you have a, 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 like in your case, you have a gaming channel, so this doesn't apply as much, but I'm saying this for everybody else that's watching that has other type of content, other types of content, um, that it's really important to make it clear, um, the type of content that you're making and not, you know, up in your channel header and not being dependent on your, um, channel trailer to express that. Um, let's see here. I would definitely make sure you have it on most of them, but I would definitely make sure that you are adding descriptions to your videos. I would also make sure like what you're doing here, this is cool, right? With the purple thing going on down there. And I see how you've got the purple, you know, going throughout. Um, what you're doing here is cool. It looks like you like started, Hey, I'm going to do some branding stuff. And then you stopped, Hey, I'm going to do some branding stuff. And then you stopped, um, Hey, I'm going to do some, you know, some theme stuff and then you stop. So, uh, so what I would do is I would take something like this and put it on all of your content, um, on all of your thumbnails, either this little thing in the corner with the S or this, like pick something and put it on all of your, on all of your thumbnails and also make sure that you're adding, um, your playlist descriptions, make sure that those are search friendly, you know, because if you're adding playlists or adding content to these regularly, regularly, then there's a, there's a decent chance that these can actually come up in search. Um, and they'll come up in suggested as well as your channel grows, um, in, you know, in recommended videos in the sidebar. Um, so if you have the titles for these and the descriptions for these, um, for, you know, that you're, that are crafted for the sake of discovery, then again, you're creating that advantage for yourself, which is, which is super important because that's, that's the whole thing, right? Like with all of this stuff is, you know, because we all know how difficult it is to grow a YouTube channel. We all know all of the work that goes into making content and all of the work that goes into trying to get attention to what it is that you're creating. So applying all of this stuff and creating all of these advantages for yourself it's super powerful because, you know, for every advantage that you create, that's one more roadblock that you're not going to have to overcome. You know what I mean? So it's, it's very important that, that all of that is, um, or all of this, all the stuff I'm talking about is, is kept in mind. Okay. Let's see here. Flipping through Twitter. See what's going on here. And then... Okay, I've got that one, got that one, got that one. Okay, so next up on the list is Flash in Your Pan. Flash in Your Pan, something for every gold prospector and small scale miner. Subscribe. Here, and, and this is just being picky, it's not a big deal, but here I would definitely have just like a little arrow or something pointing somewhere. Um, you're also you also have a, a Patreon page, which is cool. Um, so maybe in this particular case, because you don't have a subscribe um, button up here at the top, so maybe you don't want to put an arrow because then you'll be basically directing the eye to this area, even though you have the the big red button right here. You're still directing the eye with the arrow. Um, you get you kind of block that that transition right here with all of this stuff. Um, with your Thumbs, the same exact thing. And I, I'm really trying to hammer this home tonight on on how, you know, on the importance of putting something on your thumbnails that people can recognize. Like these are cool because, you know, you're always there in the bottom left, right? So it's like, hey, you have a theme going there. You have, you know, so for your live streams, that's that's good, right? Because you're you're theming your live streams with you down there in the bottom corner. Um but for all of your other stuff, like if somebody watches your this video, I mean, it's six years ago, but if somebody watches this video and then this video gets shown to them um, on the screen because there's not anything that connects this content to this content, 
then you might lose a lot of people that might otherwise um, come and watch your content. Okay, next up on the list. Okay, so now I'm going to go pull from Twitter again. Yeah, it's like a big, this is a big Twitter night. Yeah, I think I think the ones that are that I also see the uh, the ones with the thing to to my channel as well. I think I'm uh, I think I'm gonna lean more on those tonight. I believe. Let's see here. There's another one. Okay. Okay, that one's clever, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna review that one. And the reason I'm not, not going to review this particular one is because I don't want to make any suggestions that, like, I don't even want to show the channel because I'm not sure, like, how you could, I'm not sure, like, what you um, have done. Like, I'm not sure where you're getting your knowledge from. So I, I, I can't show your channel, Adam. Because I'm I'm not like I haven't vetted the type of you know the type of information you share or that you plan to share, so I can't um, so I can't I can't show your channel because I don't want I don't want to send people there and then you share information that you that you you know that you don't really you know have a full understanding of yet. Um, you might have awesome understanding I don't know yet, but that's what I'm saying is just in case you don't, um, I can't I can't um, I can't pull that one up because I don't want people to go there and and possibly um, in the event that you didn't, I'm not saying that you don't, but in the event that you didn't, I don't want people to go to your channel and, and, and be, um, you know, sent in the wrong direction, so to speak. Okay, so next up here, let me click on this, see if it goes to the YouTube channel. Yep, okay, so next up on the list, we are going to do Lucas Scope. This is interesting. Okay. Okay. Next up on the list, we're doing Lucas Scope. Same exact thing with the channel header. You know, like I have no idea what it is that you are. You know, the type of content that you're making. Like it's it's completely unclear the type of content that you're making. Once I actually scroll down, I see that you're doing like news content, but I don't know what you're doing. Like I don't know if you're doing like commentaries or if you're doing. Just, you know, like if you're just downloading videos and putting them up, like I have no idea what it is that you're doing. It's everything that I'm seeing right now on your channel is unclear. So I, I would definitely work on on clarifying what's going on visually with your channel. That's that's my that's my big tip for you is at a glance, like I have to actually look around and try to figure out what's what's happening. And even here, because your titles, right? Like, I don't know what to expect when I click on this. I don't know if you're going to be talking. I don't know if you're just doing highlight reels. You know, I don't know what it is that you're doing. And if you had it at that in your channel header, that would clarify it for me instantly. But right now, I, 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 I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what it is that you are, that you're doing in your channel. So I would definitely work on that. Now I'm going to go back into Twitter. See what we got here. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Let me just join the 100 subscribers club. High five. Let me check out your channel here cuz I'm I cuz I'm qualifying these now, right? So that uh Okay, fails to flips. Um for yours, um I would definitely um do more content because you're just getting started. You have two videos. Um, the same thing applies to you. And I, I am going to pull you up here real quick because you're launching your channel just to show. Um, but first, opening your video with a, with that is not what you want to do. So I would definitely not do that. You don't want your bumper to be the first thing that people see. You want to you give content first. People, it's, it's really important, um, and we all do this, um, but, but it's really important to, to be mindful of your intro stuff because when people come to your channel, they don't, they're not coming to your channel to see your, your fancy graphics. They're coming to your channel to, to be entertained or to learn something or to be inspired or to be motivated or to, 
you know, to connect with another person or, you know, whatever it is, but they're coming to your channel for that. They're not coming there to see your, your graphics. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind when you are, um, when you are, you know, putting your, um, your video structure together. If you're going to do a logo intro of any kind, say something first, let them know that they landed on the right video. Let them know that, that they're basically going to get what they clicked on your video for, that they're going to get that right after they see your very quick, you know, three to five second intro. Really important, you know, because a lot of people do this because it looks cool. And, it, and this is great for, for ourselves and for our stuff. So we can look at it and we can be like, oh, yeah, that looks awesome. You know, this looks this looks pro. I love this. Right. But but you have to you have to be considerate of the people that are watching your content. You have to think of your audience first when it comes to stuff like this, because they're not there to see this. They're there to see, to see you or to see the content that you're, that you're, um, that you're providing on your thumbnails. You're starting this out, right? I see you're using, you know, the same look, the same font, the same, um, gradient, um, on your, on your channel art that you're using down here. So if that's what you're going to be rolling with, that's cool because that's identifiable to you. And if you're putting your face in there, like this on all of your thumbs, that's also going to be, um, that's also going to be awesome. Um, but one thing that I would do here is you have fails to flip. So I would definitely, um, make it clear cause you have new videos every Sunday, which is great, but I would definitely make it clear the type of content that you, that you make as well. But besides that, I mean, good start, you know, like you just started five days ago and you're at 105 or yeah, 105 subscribers already. You're, you got some video views rolling in. So, you know, you're off to a good start. So keep that up, dial in these things. And um, and also with your with your with your playlists, you want to also make sure that you're putting descriptions in these because how to backflip, awesome. Because I'm sure tons of people are looking for that. But you might want to no might to it. You definitely want to write a description for this. Um, how to do that is when you go to your view of what I'm clicking on here, like when you click on that playlist on your view, right right here, you're gonna see a little pencil icon. And on that pencil icon, all you have to do is click that, and then you can put in a uh, a description there. And another thing too, if you're going to do a whole back a whole playlist of how to backflip, what you want to do is you want to also click on the playlist settings that you'll see in your view here, and um, and you want to turn this into a series playlist. If you're going to do just like a whole playlist on how to backflip, you want to definitely turn this into a series playlist. And the reason for that is when you put your content into series playlists, then YouTube will actually promote your videos alongside each other, which is great for generating internal traffic, like your own traffic into your own channel. Whoa. Okay. Next up on the list, since that just started, you know, I'm actually going to go into the chat for a second. Okay. Let's see here. So in the chat, we've got this. We've got Creator Fundamentals in the house. Dan, what is going on, man? Nice to see you in here. Um, Jimmy Changa, let's see here, babies, let's see here, Alan, James, hey Nick, I'm uploading videos in Filipino language, I also put English subtitles so that other people might not leave the video, do you think I should say that, um, that it has a subtitle in the intro, um, I wouldn't say that it has a subtitle in the intro, but what I would do is I would, um, just go ahead and subtitle your intro as well, maybe, like if you're only doing English subtitles, then maybe you just have like a little tiny graphic thing that pops up um, that kind of points over to the little button they would click for the um, for the closed captioning so that they can open that up if they don't already. Um, because actually saying it, you know, th th I, I would just go with your content and then just have a little graphic kind of do that job for you so that so that people know right away and have that graphic on as soon as the video opens just so that people so that people know. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Razman's Reality. What is going on, my friend? Nice to see you in here. Uh, let's see here. Alpha Facts. Hey, Nick, why are you not reviewing my channel? Haven't gotten there yet. That is all. Um, let's see here. What else do we have? I like your header there, by the way. Um, let's see here. Let me close that down. Close this down. And then we are going to go to Dingus Bringus. I hope you are still in the house. I know you've been waiting here for a while. So I'm going to pull you up now. All right, Dingus Bringus. First off, you win. Whatever it is that you are doing in my book, you win because of this and because of this. 
because you know, because Star Wars. So you know, you win. Um, yeah, but your Dingus Bringus, that's cool. Daily Battlefront Two and Star Wars content that is excellent. One thing to be mindful of is your um, on a mobile device, you might want to double check this layout because you're going to be cut off somewhere around here. I forgot. I keep forgetting I have this pin. Okay, you're going to be cut off somewhere around here on a mobile device, and you're going to be cut off somewhere around here on a mobile device. So what you're going to do is when somebody's going to look at this on a phone, then they're going to see Lee, Battle Station 2, and Star Wars content, which is cool because they still see this. But just from a design stand, or sorry, that, but from a design standpoint, um, I would definitely just kind of tighten that up just a tad so that it's a, just a little bit more um, mobile friendly. How you're using the Star Wars reference here, good, very good. Um, oh, you're live right now. Okay, so then maybe you are, you know, we're going to sneak into your live stream. Let's see here. Let's sneak into your live stream. So this is like a, a streaming, a live stream. This is going to be interesting. So we're, we're going to chat. We're going to chat with them too. So he probably doesn't know. He's probably not watching right now because he's uh, going to give him a, thumb, a thumbs up there. <laughs> All right. Oh, maybe so. Oh, no, no, he doesn't know. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so he's basically, I don't, I don't know if, if you can hear this audio here. I'm going to do the desktop audio. Oh, you are watching. Okay, yeah, so, so what you're getting here is like a stream within a stream. This is hilarious, actually. <laughs> uh, so, so, so it, I can't even imagine the delay that's happening right now between what he's hearing versus what I'm saying. I bet it's, I bet it's an easy, I don't know, 25, 30 seconds maybe. Yeah, that's hilarious. So we're like live streaming a live stream. All right, so he's not even playing right now. So so we will, uh, so I'm, I'm going to back out of this, but I just thought that was kind of hilarious, actually. Man, I, I wish you were playing right now. Okay, so, so I'm like having too much fun with this, and I'm about to get distracted really fast by uh, by watching this, so I'm going to go ahead and close out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and close that one down. That was kind of funny, actually. I mean, I don't know if I don't know if you enjoyed that, but but I I, I thought that was I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm very easily entertained. You know, that's that's the side effect of being a happy person is that it's super easy to um to to do that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make this easy here. And I'm going to just go ahead and block that dude. All right. So let's see here. So I'm going to go back to Twitter and open my Twitter up here. Okay. So let's go to one of these old tweets, one of these first ones of people throwing the tweet out. I'm scrolling all the way down here for this one. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm just going to start popping some of these open. All right, we're going to check that one out. We're going to check this one out. We're going to check this one out. You know, I did that one, I think, last week, so we won't do that one. Okay, let's see here. YouTube, that's a cute header. Um, let's see. I was going to do this one, but I can't see the YouTube channel, so I'm not going to do that one. Okay, so... Okay, so for this one, we are going to go to the channel page, and then we're going to make it live. Boom. Okay, so this one is Team Broccoli. Love the name. I'm actually going to subscribe to that just because of the awesome name and the cute cartoons. Um, Plant-based, made easy, food hauls, recipes, vlogs, Team Broccoli, plant power. This is awesome. Okay, at a glance, like this part right here is fantastic. You know, it looks, you know, it's nice and clean. It looks professional. Everything's easy to understand. You know, how you're doing this over here, that looks nice and, you know, nice and clean and pro. Um, your actual cartoons, those are adorable. You know, you got your little cats and dogs in there. Excellent. Um, you know, plant power, you know, all of this. Your, your whole presentation up here at the top, fantastic. Thumbs up to you for that. Um, 
how you're putting your broccoli in most of your stuff, it looks like now. Um, that is definitely a plus. Um, you want to make sure, again, on yours as well, that you are putting descriptions in to your um, playlist, even on old stuff, right? Like here you have, you know, this is all three years ago. Just, just put a description in here as well on all of these, actually. Make sure that you're adding descriptions. And in order to do that, just to show you one more time, um, all you have to do is just click on the actual name of your playlist. And then when you do that, you're going to be shown a page that looks something like this. But in your view, you're going to see a little edit icon right up here. And you just click on that, and then you'll be able to add the description. And since you are doing these into specific playlists, you definitely want to, on that same page, go into your playlist settings and make those a series playlist as well, um, if you haven't already. And that is my that is my quick thing for you. Like, um, you know, I'm actually going to go to your video page here before I split out of this one. Oh, that's weird. It, like, unsubscribed me. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. So I'm going to go to your video page here, and I'm going to look. Yeah, one thing I would do, if you are the, like, it looks like you guys are the personality of this channel. Um, one thing that I, that I, that I want to stress to everyone is people connect with people more than they connect with, you know, graphics and stuff like that. So if you're a, a personality channel, to where you know it's always you in the videos it's always you talking in the videos you're the one that's always sharing information and things like that if you're putting yourself out there to actually be in the video put yourself in the thumbnails too because one it makes it easy for people to recognize your content as yours but more so because people connect with people right so if you if you are in the thumbnail you know either you or you you know whichever one of you wants to be in the thumbnail or even both of you you know if if it, if you're showing people in the thumbnail you're more likely to get clicks than if you're just showing something like this, right? So definitely, if you are a personality channel of any kind, super important that 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 you put yourself in the thumbnail so that people can connect with you as a person because they are also people. So very, very important. But yeah, overall, I like what you're doing on your channel, though, Broccoli. Okay, let's see here. Simple Coder opening you up right now. Okay, let's see here. Give me one second. Man, my brain is just mashed potatoes. Okay. Sim coder. I said simple. Oh, it is simple coder. Okay. Sim coder. <clears throat> I'm guessing that you are doing coding tutorials. That is my that is my first glance guess. My first uh my first impression glance of your channel is that you're doing coding videos. I would still make it specific because you're 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 being specific but kind of in an abstract way in your in your name. Um so I would still even though, you know, like cuz you have the sim underlined, I don't know cuz I'm not a coder for apps and things like that, so I'm not sure if that is something related to coding. Um if it is and your your target demographic would recognize that right away, then what I'm about to say is not as important but it is still important is if you could also make it dummy proof and put specifically, you know, coding. Let's see here. Let me see what you're doing here before I say this. Okay. Um, you know, learn how to code apps, just something simple like that. Learn how to code apps so that basically when somebody lands on your channel, that maybe doesn't fully get, if, if this is even a reference to where they might not fully get it, you still say right here, learn to code apps. And by doing that, you're basically qualifying people as they come into your channel. Hey, I want to learn how to code an app. So I'm, I'm at least going to scroll down the page and see what this person, um, see what they're actually making. And same thing with you. The cartoon looks cool. This is definitely easily recognizable as yours. Um, so this is okay using the cartoon, but a person is, is definitely, um, you know, I mean, if you don't have any good pictures of yourself or whatever, no big deal. Keep using the cartoon. And again, the cartoon, it does look okay. It's it's recognizable to people that, you know, watch your content. They're definitely going to be familiar with it. So the cartoon is fine. Don't don't take this the wrong way. Um, but what I'm just saying is that um, using a person, you know, again, because we, you know, we connect with each other as people. So so using people is is definitely a plus. But, you know, the cartoon, it definitely like you've got themes going here. You know, you've got stuff that, you know, is definitely grabbing attention with the with the Android and the colors and, you know, all of that. I mean, you're, you're definitely on the right track here visually. Um, 
uh, and even with your thumbnail, you know, you're always using that same dude in the same spot and all of that, or I mean your, your cartoon. So, um, so you're, you're definitely on the right path, but I would definitely, um, clean this up a tad or not clean it up, but I would definitely make this just a tad more clear. But, um, as far as the rest of this is concerned, me personally, I would like to see a person in these instead of a cartoon. But if you're more comfortable with the cartoon instead of yourself um, as the actual picture on here, then that's totally cool because this is going to um, definitely grab um, attention as well. All right. Okay, back into Twitter for another one. And my brain is starting to shut down here, so I'm going to I'm going to start closing this thing down here shortly before I uh, before I like fall over <laughs> uh let's see here thanks for seeing your channel let's see i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking for another channel to review here okay we will go up here okay now here's an example right how he's just talking about the person okay um and about that connecting with people thing when I just hit refresh on my Twitter, at the very top of my feed is a person. Right underneath that is a graphic, right? And these are the representations that I see of the channel. And right away, out of all of these that, that I'm seeing on my screen, right away my eyes go whoop right to the person. And because, me personally, because I'm interested in, in you know, like people, so like, Right away, it's like, oh, I'm at least gonna look at this guy's channel and see if he see if he qualifies um, in the other areas as far as you know making sure he's got his channel laid out and stuff like that. Um, but if so, I'm definitely gonna review this one real quick. Okay, yeah. So okay, so we're gonna go into this one. Okay, so Cheese Gaming. Um, it's funny that you have a cartoon here, but I clicked on it for this. Since you obviously are the personality here, and I'm going to draw a mustache on you just for fun and a little beard. There we go. So since you are the personality here, I would definitely put you up here in this because... Since you're the personality, if you're making the type of content where you're doing things like this in your video, right? You're, you know, like this is your framing, right? Then I would definitely put yourself somewhere up here in the channel header um, as well. Because, you know, you're growing this as a personality, even though it's gaming content, you're growing this as a personality channel because you're putting yourself, you know, this isn't something where you're like down here in the corner. Hey, I'm down here in the corner playing a game. It's not that. Like you're, you know, you're doing like full commentary stuff. Um, in addition to your game, so I would definitely, definitely put you up here in the header because what you're doing, you're you're building a, you know what? I just realized I didn't pull this up on the thing. What what you're doing here, and, and that's funny because I was like drawing mustaches and goatees and all this other stuff here, and like nobody even saw it. It's funny, and that's that was my reference right down here about the uh, gamer down in the corner. But yeah, like what I was saying, just to recap, is I would definitely put your picture here instead of this tune. And the reason for that is because of the, you know, I mean, he's obviously doing commentary um, type content. Um, in addition to the games, or maybe, you know, maybe he's doing his games like this. Maybe he's doing a different type of, you know, gaming channel to where it's not all about, you know, hey, I'm just watch me play games. Um, but whatever it is, because you're clearly growing a, a personality brand here, um, in addition to just gaming, I would definitely put you um, up here in the channel art as well. Super important. What you got going on here, that is good. Uh, let's see here, Joy of Creation, Robert Story Mode. Okay, same thing with you with what I was saying earlier about linking your content via some tor some type, some torp. See, I can't even I can't even communicate anymore with my brain tonight. Okay, so basically, um, you know, making your content so that it it visually connects so that people can recognize you anywhere that you are put on the platform in front of people that have already watched your content and that may like your content. You know, you want them to easily recognize your stuff as your stuff. Um, again, man, beca because you're doing a, a personality brand, right? Because you're, because you're putting yourself in the videos like this, I would definitely use a picture of you somewhere in your thumbnails because you, you know, you, you want to connect 
with the people as a person, right? So I, I would definitely put you somewhere. Um, if you're not going to do that, which is also cool because that's also a personal preference, but if you're if you're not going to do that, I would definitely, again, I would use something. You know, maybe this, you know, kind of, you know, in the in the corner or something, but just use do, do something that connects all of this stuff um, together so that people can recognize it as yours. I, I can't stress enough how important that is. Like if, you, if, okay, because my channel is doing well, like a lot of people are asking me, hey, you know, what is it that, you know, what is it that you're doing? What's like, I, like the, the, the retreat that I just went to um, with that. And, and, and I'm, when I say retreat that I went to, I didn't go there like as a participant of the retreat, I went there to actually do a podcast. Um, but um, one of the people that were there, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but, but he's got 240,000 subscribers on his channel. And when, uh, when he checked out my stats on my channel, he was completely blown away at, you know, just how fast everything's going and, and the retention I'm getting on my content and stuff like that. And, uh, what I'm getting at is people keep asking, you know, hey, you know, what is it that you're doing to, you know, to get the results that you're getting on your channel? And the stuff that I'm doing is the, is the same stuff that I'm that I'm telling you when I'm when I'm when I'm looking at the when I'm looking at these at the at the at the channels and when I'm when I'm giving tips in my videos and all that stuff, like that's that's the stuff that's the stuff I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like I'm 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 practicing what I preach. That's it. That's that's all I'm doing. So it's not you know, it's not that uh, that that results like that are out of reach because they're not. You know, it's just it's just patience in order to, in order for things to actually fall in place to where you can generate results like that. And it's doing all of the stuff that I talk about doing on your channel so that um, so that, you know, when those things are in place and things and the momentum starts to pick up instead of your momentum just kind of, you know, going like this so that your momentum goes like this. That's what you want because every channel, as it grows, as long as you're doing everything right, it's you know it's going to truck along, and it's going to grow like this. That's that's what happens with with most of them. But if you have all of this stuff in place and you and you apply all of this stuff, then it can it can take this, and it can turn it into into this, right? So super super important. Of course, there's always going to be you know ups and downs, but I'm talking about overall, right? You want it to you want it to go, and once it starts picking up. If, if you have all of this stuff in place, once that momentum starts taking off, then you're, you're going to see a huge shift like this. And then it's really going to start taking off because you've applied all of this stuff over an entire video library, right? So over a whole backlog of videos, you've applied all of this stuff. And because of it, the amount of internal traffic that you start generating is just insane. And when, when that happens, YouTube really starts pushing you out because you're just, you just keep, pushing people deeper and deeper and deeper um, into your content through all of these different things. So you're getting all of that extra watch time, all of that extra authority, all those extra views, um, all that extra engagement, like all of it. it. It just, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, th th that's, 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 that's how I'm, I'm doing it on my channel. Okay. So let's see here. Next up on the list Let's see here. Let's pull this up real quick. Um, let's see here. Doing a quick verification here to make sure that this is family friendly, to make sure that they are updating regularly, and to make sure that they are putting in what looks like effort of some kind. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to do this one as well. Okay, here, same thing, channel header. Like, I'll be able to cruise through this one. Ready? Definitely do the channel header. Definitely thumbnail connections, like I was saying before. Um, I would add more content to your channel page, what you're doing here in the playlist. I would have something like this. I would do it as a horizontal grid, and then I would make these, um, like this right here, as its own horizontal grid. In addition to that, I would also add more grids coming down here on the bottom. On your, how do I close this thing? There we go. On your content here, all of this stuff, it all needs to match up. Super, super, super important. And things like this, right? Like, um, like titles. 
High became a rapper. I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, like, it looks like you're doing, like, blog-style stuff. Okay, one th one thing I want you to keep in mind, and this, this is also really important, I, like, this is, um, this, this, this applies to, to everybody, me too, right? This applies to all of us, like, I, I, I just, I just crossed into the realm to where, um, to where some of, some other things, um, to where I can be a little bit more slack if I want to on my, on my stuff, as far as like, you know, the SEO and things like that, but for a smaller channel, but I'm, I'm not, but I'm just saying like for a smaller channel, like what you want to make sure that you are doing is not trying to copy like the naming structure and things like that of a humongous channel. And the reason for that is because, you know, when you have 80 subscribers, it's extremely important that you make your content search friendly, that you make it discoverable. And the reason for that is because when you upload a video, you're not getting the push internally from YouTube that a large channel gets because your channel does not, is not in the viewing history of a lot of people. Your channel is not, doesn't have, you know, authority really to, to compete with other channels that are doing similar things. So because of that, it's really important that you are doing keyword research and that you're optimizing your videos for search because that is how you get things rolling on a smaller channel. Because if you're not doing that, your growth is going to be really slow because people just finding your stuff, if you're not sharing it all over the internet, people just finding your stuff, in most cases, that's not just going, like it's not like a, a build it and they will come scenario. If it was, then the gaming channels that are just uploading, you know, 10 videos a day or, you know, like four videos a day, they would dominate the, the entire platform because that content's easy to make. They can just do it and put it up there. But that's that's not how you actually do it. In order to get the initial momentum going on a channel, ranking your videos in search, learning to make your content discoverable so that when people are looking for it in Google, in Yahoo, in Bing, in YouTube, that your content is what surfaces when they're when they're looking for stuff. Right. It's 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 extremely, extremely important because like a, a, a big thing that that a lot of a lot of people have. And I wish I could do this, too. You know, like I wish that I could just make like outrageous titles and then just open a video and then and then it just goes out and gets pushed all over YouTube. That would be great. But and I have a better chance of doing that now because of the channel size. Um, but I'm still, you know, leaning on the side of, of making my content as discoverable as possible. And the reason for that is because, you know, in the future, if, you know, if there's an algorithm change or something like that, and YouTube says, okay, well, now we're only going to promote stuff that people are, are looking for, you know, something like that, then, you know, I want to make sure I'm covered there. Or, you know, if they say, well, you know, hey, well, we're going to put more weight on this particular metric. Okay, that's cool. I've been, I've been dominating that metric for, for a year. You know what I mean? And then when they make that switch, then you win there. So you want to definitely make sure that you are, um, you know, that, that you're focusing on everything as a whole, right? Very important. But see, I'm losing my train of thought here because it's, uh, it's late. It's like midnight here. But, uh, what was I, what was I saying? Uh, but yeah, basically the, the, um, the idea that I was going for is that you don't want to try to copy the, like the, the naming conventions of larger channels, because if you, if you do that, you're going to be, you're going to be cutting yourself short on your chances of of discoverability and of your chances of of you know getting a nice consistent growth going on your channel because you're not making stuff that people are searching for like how I became a rapper you know maybe people are searching for that but you know a lot of the other a lot of the other titles that you have um people are actually searching for how to be, how I became a rapper by the way but for a lot of the other titles that you have you know it's 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 not um it's not heavily searched for stuff. So, all right. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and as you can tell, my brain is just mashed potatoes. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, I'll see you guys next Saturday with another live stream, a fresher brain. So I can keep this rolling a little bit better. Um, but I want to thank everybody that has been in the live stream. Everybody that's been hanging out. I want to thank you for, um, for hanging out. I want to thank you for hanging out, for interacting with each other. 
I want to thank you for being a part of the stream. For all the people that won, congratulations. Um, I'll be sending out emails on Monday for that. For all the people that did not, keep in mind that you can still get a uh, discount code, or you can still use Nick's Buddy on Tuber Tools and on uh, TubeBuddy for whatever it is that you're doing there um, for a discount. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, Explore List, Darren says, I think this is a mistake that a lot of channels make. I know I did until recently. Yeah, the thing with the, you know, with naming your stuff, that's what he's referencing to, I believe. Or that's what he's referencing, I believe. Like the, okay, that one's going to delete. Um, so what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the, the naming, though. You know, like a lot of people will see that. They'll see like what, what Pootie Pie is doing or they'll see what, you know, just bigger channels are doing that, that already have that internal promotion happening from YouTube. And, and they say, okay, well, if I just name my stuff like that, I'll be okay. Because they think, well, hey, there's big channels on it, so it must be okay if I do it too. But in, in reality, they are able to do that because of, the, because of what they already have in place, right? As a new channel, it's very important. Of course, you want to make your titles you know, intriguing. You want to make stuff that people will click on. But you also want to make sure that you are making content that people are searching for. Um, as well, extremely, extremely important because you know if on YouTube if you build it, they're not necessarily going to come. You have to actually put your content in front of people via learning how to optimize your videos for search. Very, 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 very important. All right, again, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you next Saturday. Video is coming out on Monday as usual, and on Wednesday as usual as well. So hopefully you will tune in for those. Hopefully they will be valuable um, for you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.